Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we all doing? It's BK on the PC. Beer and Kebab, the racing gear. Yeah, yours truly. Looking good and feeling good tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're doing extremely well. We're back for some F1 2023 action tonight, ladies and gents, courtesy of Total Impact Racing. It is tier two in action tonight. We are at the uh, Circuit de Gilles Villeneuve in Montreal, Canada. I'm not going to sing the Canadian National Anthem again. It was bad enough last night. I'm not going to do it again. No, 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 no. But uh, it's good to be here and uh, it's going to be a good race tonight. I'm looking forward to this one. Join me tonight in the comms booth. He's back for more. More shits, giggles and debauchery, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mr. T-I-R-I-I Gandhi. Good evening, Andrew. Hello there. Hello there. Oh, fucking hell, mate. That's just, that's just the best that would be one. It really is. <laughs> Hello, no, man. mate, ready for round two. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's do it, man. Let's, let's do go. it. Yeah, it's going to be a good night tonight. To say we've got uh, tier two in action tonight. I think we're missing a driver. Um, may have joined yeah, us. Yeah, Shro's, Shro's set. Uh, it's, apparently, he was in the lobby. Oh, he and is. He's, 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 in. he's back in again, mate. He's back he's in. Back I've, in. Just, I've just seen the, the Shroominator, the Chrome Dome <laughs> Wonder himself. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. everyone's there. Good, good, good. Uh, thanks for the follow, by the way. <laughs> WWM Magic, welcome in. We'll have a quick look at the Chitty Chat chat in a minute and uh, we're gonna get cracking with this uh, short quality well no it's not it's full qualifying tonight ladies and gents fucking hell old habits die hard uh full qualifying 50 percent race distance here in canada of course if you saw it last night my god what carnage it was last night with that wet weather oh my god and um, we saw the dsq of the season of course from gregor's last night which created lots of mirth and giggles in the commentary box but I, I, won't. Uh, I won't. Don't forget Telfy rear-ending the safety car. Telfy rear-ending the safety <laughs> car. Oh, my God. Oh, that's going to go on a montage, mate, at the end of the season. You know what I mean? I can't believe we didn't catch it. <laughs> I was gutted oh, we didn't catch I, no, it. No, I did. I did, mate. I looked back. He just saw his car just buried into the back of the safety car, mate. It was unbelievable. I might oh, have to days. see if we can get his POV on it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if he does. Uh, he's a POV streaming, mate. I'm not sure. We'll have to find out anyway. Uh, let's have a quick look at the chat. Magic, thank you again for the follow. Nice intro. Of course it's a nice intro. It's Boon Kebab. The, the best intro you will find on Twitch is even better than Dr. D's fucking intros, man. It's the best. You know what I'm saying? And there's, there is Massey. Massey F1. Still my favourite intro. Twitch intro. Damn right it is. Good evening to you, mate. I hope you're doing well. Jakey G, welcome. Says good evening to two legends of TIR. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, April, how are you doing, my little PUBG partner? Good to see you. Action tonight. Oh yeah, you better believe it, baby. 
Ups or down? April's absolutely. back for round two as well. You are sorry. Oh, <laughs> April's back for round yeah, two. Yeah, should be should be back for round three <laughs> tomorrow as well. Like, you know what I mean? You just can't get enough. And of course, with two races tomorrow night, that's twice the action. You know what I'm saying? Um, yes, mate. First race of the season with no ABS says Arrow. Okay. Good luck, mate. Good luck. Anyway, let's go trackside and take a look at tonight's runners and riders, shall we? Alrighty then. I really should have worn a different jacket tonight because it's green. It's like transparent. Anyway, never mind. Uh, from the top, we've got Darko you know Wayne. What oh, means? Sambler. It's got to be Gandhi. It's got to be Gandhi. Of retribution <laughs> it is. Manifested by an appropriate I can hear it this time. Uh, Darko Wade, Rabatron, Foreskin, sorry, Foreman, uh, WHF, Arrow, Purple Haze, Turbo Snail, The Mighty Codzilla, Rusted Bolt, Super Ninja, Cheeseman, OP Rallying, Trash Magic, Sniper, Massey, Golden Egg Fryer, uh, The Shroominator, Julku, and Midfield Maestros. Good to see uh, Shrews back racing as well. I've missed, we've missed it, we've missed him, we've missed his moaning. Sorry, Nigel. Uh, <laughs> it's good to see you back, dude. It's good to see you back. Uh, looks like a Merc is going to be my first car on track, looking at the mini map. Is it Trash Magic? It is indeed going to be Trash Magic. We'll have a quick audio check as well. Hopefully, uh, it's all sounding good. It's all uh, it's all gravy, all going well. Right, what I'm going to do is uh, stick some beer lemetry up there for you guys watching at home. Of course, top right-hand side of the screen, ladies and gents, beer lemetry for all of your uh, stats, your, your stats for your car's damage. Tie temperatures, brake temperatures. Fucking hell, even make you a cup of tea if you wanted to. Anyways, let's jump on board with... Uh, with Trash, he's about to start his first one, and here we go, and he is off and running a down towards turn one, rolling through fourth gear, probably drop down to second, no, he holds it in third gear, that's, you, you lose a little bit of rotation by staying in the high gear, but you do gain traction out the corner, up towards turn three and turn four, the chicane hammers it through there, nice and aggressive, gets very, very close to the wall, through the yeah, little kink of turn five, in towards six and seven, of course, that classic wet race we saw many, many years ago, where Sebastian Vettel spun it, dropped it on his on the last lap of the race in drying conditions, giving Jensen Burton that famous victory, of course. But uh, he's often running DRSs uh, open as he comes up towards turns eight and nine. Again, he's been quite aggressive on the curbs, just to, just to avoid that right-hand uh, wall there on the exit, up towards the, uh, the hairpin of turn 10, uh, just roll it through, probably second or third gear. Oh, he's, he's taking it in fourth. My goodness me! Obviously running no, uh, obviously running manual gears, putting no traction control. Down this long back straight. DRS is going to be wide open. We're going to give him some warp speed. Is he's going to hit way over 200 miles an hour now? Got this long, long, long run down to the wall of champion chicane. It's heavy on the brakes. You've got to pick your braking spot. Nicely done. Nice and aggressive for the wall of champions. That looked really, really tidy. He's about to cross the finish line. Ladies and gents, it's a 1-11-965. Wow. That's not bad for a banker, mate. That was Q3 pace, I yep. believe. Turbo Snow goes quicker, though. 11 already. We're seeing some very, very quick times. Just scroll for the car. Snipers just... Ooh, how did he get away with that in the validation there? Wow. He couldn't have borrowed much more of the curb if he even wanted. Uh, so 113.393 for his banker. Jewel Coot goes through as well. Why am I not seeing the proper times? There we go. Fastest lap. That's what I want to see. Let's have a look at a little, 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 little that. Stop. Should, I, should I start saying that again? Yeah? Rather than getting all tongue tied and twisted. Massey let's have a look with at a 111 flat. 111 flat, 042. I tell you what, these guys are setting down the benchmarks already, mate. We're, we're certainly going to. I reckon we're going to see low 10s in, in Q3, mate. I really do. Here comes Darko Wade, wow. one of the uh, pre race favourites. I just Let's... had to mute the headset, Haley, come in singing. <laughs> That's all right. She's coming while singing. That's interesting. I've not heard that one before. Interesting. Okay, here comes Darko Wade coming through. 111, 521 goes P3 with his banker lap. Already we're seeing some great times. Foreman um, just about to go through. Oh, he's just coming down to the World Champions. Um, Super Ninja went through with an 11. Uh, 891. That's a pretty tidy time for Super Ninja. I know he's had his, uh, his, his struggles with the pace this season, but that's a good banker. That's a solid banker there. Then comes Foreman. What can uh, Foreman do? Kev, it's a 113.612. That's just a bit of a, an installation. That OP Rallying is on the hard compound tyre, the white wall tyre, coming into the Wall of Champs chicane. So he'll be no doubt switching over to a, a softer set for his second run in qualifying. Uh, so he's going to go through the 114, yeah, 114, 340 on his first run. Stacey is on a push at the moment in the Aston Martin. Of course, teammates with the mighty Godzilla. Just making her way up towards, uh, where is she, turn six and turn seven. Just rolls it through. She's already purple sector one. Purple haze, purple sector one. There you go. So she is on a push lap at the moment, making her way up towards turns eight and nine. 
a series of course of chicanes in the first half of the lap it, the first half of the lap is basically chicanes pretty much midfield maestro first guy into the 110s a 110954 for the championship leader he is absolutely on it uh, let's have a look at what Stacey does back on the power getting the uh, the rotation through the car so she can get on that power quickly as she's going to come bombing down DRS is going to be wide open as she's making her way down the back straight towards the wall of champion chicane we're going to keep an eye on that timing speed let's see how she gets on rolls the car through nice and aggressive gets all oh, maybe a little possibly a little bit too deep on the exit there the second part of the chicane it still has a decent time though it's a 111.363 Andrew puts her at the P4 not a little yeah. Yeah, Robotron's invalidated his run, so um, where's Arrow? Arrow's just behind him, Codzilla is coming up to the hairpin. I'm just going to jump, say, with Rara. I want to see if he comes into the pits and puts a new set on, or whether he goes uh, for Wait, another run. You are sorry? Oh, Cod's on an outlet. He's just about yeah. to start one. Yeah, Cod and Arrow just behind Rara. They'll be they'll be catching up soon. Have a quick look at the, uh, quick look at the chat whilst we're watching him. Uh, Ryan Dog says, good to see you, by the way, Ryan says, uh, I think it's a late birthday gift. Captain Birdseye Godzilla should win tonight. I think he should fucking crash, personally. You know, I like to see Cod in the wall buried, it's just so I can rag him. You know what I mean? Jamie, good to see you, Rose F1 says, uh, here supporting my man, Magic. Well, let's see how he gets on. He's uh, currently, where is he? Where is Magic? Currently in P8 at the moment, he's on board of Rara. Which driver are you talking about? Oh, you mean Magic for Esports Academy. Okay. We'll keep, a, we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, April says, uh, yeah, regarding my inability to talk early on, says, I like you tongue-tied. Jesus, get a run. Unbelievable. Wow, she is so bad, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I believe Massey has made a cock-up. Has he? Um, it looks like he's running out of fuel. Oh, I see his car very slowly. Very slowly. Yeah. He's either that or he's doing a good impression of Godzilla. I don't know, maybe that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> now, here comes Rawa, a little bit deep down the wall of champions. 113, 674, so he will have to go again. We're going to jump on board with the fishy fingered wonder himself. That 43027, that's a decent sector two split. Um, this should be the 111. Oh, he gets P7 there with the 111, 604, and I think Arrow's just gone through the 11708. So, um, yeah, some decent times coming through. I tell you what, looking, of course, top 15 go through the Q2, ladies and gentlemen. I reckon, oh, mate, I reckon an 11.5 for the cutoff. Looking at that timing yeah. screen. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. A 112's not going to cut it. <clears throat> I reckon an 11.5. Um, so Darko way downwards, I think, are in decent, are in a bit of, bit of bother. Uh, we're just on board with uh, Didcot, as he's, as Jagu famously named him many, many years ago. I don't know why we called him Big Magic. Magic just here. coming for. Oh, Magic, Magic, Magic. Here's a look at Magic, Trash Magic. Uh, this does look. Is it quicker? No. Yes, it is quicker. Uh, three tenths quicker. P8, 111.650. Let's go back on. That was oh, on a scrub set as well. That was on a scrub set. Okay, Cheese was on a push in the moment. But I want to have a look at Jilku. Just coming up to the Wall of Champions. Oh, this is a great split from Jilku. 42.491, mate, for the Sector 2 split. That is really quick, mate. That's very, very competitive. Currently sat in P12. And as long as he doesn't uh, balls up the uh, the wall of champions chicane, mate, this is going to be a mid to low 11 here. This is looking, he's he's hooking up a really, really good lap here. Let's see as he comes to the wall of champs. Yeah, that's not bad. He carried a decent Golly. amount of speed through there. This is looking pretty tidy. That's very good. Yeah, 111, uh, 745, P10. Okay. Of course, the top, uh, the top 15 ladies and gents go through the Q2. The rest of them drop out, put their feet up, have a cup of tea knock one out whatever floats their boat basically um let's go back on board here we go and push cheese was coming through let's jump on board with the uh, cheesy 111 099 that's a very very good lap indeed puts him in p4 i think stacy's on a push as well currently she is sat in p5 uh yeah she's two tenths up the sector two split so uh yeah it's looking very very competitive rusted bolt by the way went through the 110 985 second guy into the 110s and this, she could, Stacey, well, Sp Stacey could be here, to, she might get into the 10s here, it's going to be close, oh yeah, there she nice. goes, she's quickest, a 110.928, that is a stonking one. Shrews is your next buffer, mate. Let's have a look at the uh, the Shroominator, let's see how he gets on. 42.597, that's a competitive sector two splits, all about the wall of champs, oh, that was nicely done, nicely done by Nigel, had a Very lot of clean. speed through there, yeah, that was clean, mate. 
And he goes P8 with a 111.530. That's a solid time. Uh, Golden Egg Fry is on the push as well. He is making his way up towards the uh, turn 10 chicane uh, hairpin. 42.463. Another competitive uh, sector 2 wow. split there for Golden Egg Fry. We're seeing some really good times here, mate. We really are. So we'll stay on board with. Um, Turbo. Who, sorry? 111.4. Turbo's just gone Turbo's now. One, one eleven four. That is an improvement. That is an improvement. Like a golden egg fryer coming down to the Wall of Championship Kane. Now, we've seen before this season, he is the dark horse, isn't he, for Q3 qualifying. He somehow yeah. he just gets into Q3 and then suddenly whacks in an amazing time. Uh, one eleven one six eight P6 there for uh, SLR Fryer, golden egg fryer. So, what did I say for a cutoff? One eleven five, mate. I reckon we're looking. Five, yes. It's looking that way because that's P9 at the moment. Interesting. Uh, OP rallying is still out, mate, on a set of fucking hard tyres. What's he? Is he doing? Trying to do an impress to Jason here or Iro Schumacher? What is he doing? Um, looks like it, mate. Uh, Rawat's coming through, but he is improving. No, he's not. He's down, man. He's down in P17. He's in the drop zone. So currently in the drop zone. Tir Foreman, OP Rally, and Raratron and Sniper all in the drop zone. Um, they're going to have to put another set of tyres on. Uh, Arrow's on another push, I think. Oh, he's just invalidated there at T3. So who have we got? I don't know if we've got anyone on pushes at the moment. Um, Massey's about to start another lap. Right, Purple Haze and Midfield Moisture have retired their cars in the pits. They're happy. They're, they're convinced that their times are enough to get into Q2. And I'd say, yeah, I'd say they're pretty safe there with 110s. I mean, unless OP Rallying's using this as a practice session, he's... He, he might be, mate. He might just be trying to get some um, some data, you know, on the tyres. Uh, Maestro says, good evening, beer. Hope you're well, good fella. Absolutely. When am I not well? You know what I mean? In fact, I'm so good, there should be two of me. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Dark Rider Shane, seek out Dark Rider. Good to see you, mate. How you doing, buddy? There is actually... Jesus, I'm about to come through. Okay, I'm going to stay with Master. Cheese, no. the fastest one, 10, 8, 6, 9. Oh, my God. Getting drug tested, man. Very I, nice. I think he's been using those speed hacks again. Cheesy. What a lap. Okay, Massey's made a mistake then. He's back right out. So who have we got on pushes? Darko Wade's on a push. I didn't see a Sector 2 split. Uh, Godzilla has uh, invalidated. Trash Magic's back in Sector magic. 1. Arrow's back there. I'm going to go with Darko Wade. Magic's so. just done 42-4 in Sector 2. Okay, yeah, again, that's, that seems to be pretty much a benchmark time. A lot of them are sort of around about the, the low 42s. Right, Dark Airways bail, bailed out. Trash is at the moment in P11 on a push. So we'll just watch him as he makes his way down towards the, uh, uh, the Wall of Championship game. Just under five minutes left in Q1, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's, that's good. He's gained some time here. That, this looks a pretty quick lap, actually, from Trash. He's going to improve here, I'm pretty sure of it. Yeah, goes P7, 111, 178. Nearly a half a second improvement. So I would say he's fairly safe. Uh, the cutoff at the moment, ladies and gents, is a one twelve zero nine five. That's going to come down. I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, Sniper is on a push, just coming out of uh, where is he? Where is Sniper? Uh, just coming out of turn seven, I think. No, he's not. Going to turn three. I'll get some league tables up uh, after Q1, ladies and gents. I'll also put a, a graphic up uh, of last week's. Uh, result around uh, Catalonia, Spain. Which, of course, uh, I Joel missed Coop. last week. 42-2, just purple sector 2. Who's that, mate? Joel Coop, 42-2. Wow. In sector 2. Okay, what can he do then? He's a 111.745. He'll want to improve that a little bit. That's probably not enough at the moment. Let's see how he goes. Quickest driver so far in the second sector. Oh, he's lost a little bit of speed for the Wall of Champs there, mate. He's not carried a lot of speed through. Um, he's going to be an improvement here. I think he's lost time, though, mate. But that's still a good, very good lap, though. 111.235. I just think he he just hesitated a little bit for the Wall of Champs. <coughs> okay, Arrow is on a push. No, he's... Who is he? No, I don't think he is. No, he's not. He's not on a push. Back to Sniper. 113 does improve, but he is stuck in a drop zone. 113.268. That is not going to be enough. And he's running out of time. <coughs> uh, Jamie Rose says, uh, rumours that Magic's got a 10-5 in the locker. Uh, not if he doesn't save his setup. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Massey is a very lucky boy. Because as he was following Joel through um, all the champions, he did actually clip the wall. But he's got no end plate damage or anything like that. So oh, he's very lucky. Yeah, because of course if you DNF in Q1, that, that automatically puts you out of Q2 even if you are in the top 15. 
Okay, Super Ninja, I don't think he's on the push. No, he's not. We've got two minutes left in qualifying. So we're going to see a few drivers um, pushing. Uh, drop zone at the moment to 112.095. That's Foreman is just on his way out now. Uh, OP Rallying is also on his way out. And I think Rara Trader has crashed. Teresa's crashed. He is out of qualifying, ladies and gents. Uh, yeah, turn two. Oh man, that is Shrews out of qualifying. He is showing on the uh, on the class on the standings as P15, but he will not go into the Q2. That's what I was just talking about. Oh, Magic has got his uh, setup. He was just trolling us. So we're going to in a Bingley got a default one. Yeah. Uh, Super Ninja <laughs> is getting ready to another push lap. Godzilla is on a push. Let's watch Godzilla. Currently in P11 with a 111.604. Sex 2 split is 42.7, so he has gained time. Jewel Coop is with Typhon Sesh. He's happy with his time. Um, currently sat in P8. Looks should be safe there. Turbo's just coming through uh, Wall of Champions. Okay. Here's Turbo on an improvement lap 11.4. Yeah, he goes, goes a little bit quicker. Stays in P9. Back on board of Codzilla. Coming into the Wall of Champs. This is important for Cod. Oh, he's invalidated. So oh. he can go again if he's got the battery. He's only got 30% battery left in that car. So I want to go... Uh, I want to see if he still goes. Magic has retired from session. 111.178. P7 should be safe there. Um, okay, Cod's not going to um, improve. Ninja's about to hit sector 2. Uh, just about to hit sector oh, three. Sorry. Oh, he's down. He's down, mate. He's down by a tenth and a half. Uh, Foreman is on a push. I'm going to keep an eye on Foreman's uh, split times. Okay, Foreman is two and a half tenths up in sector one. Uh, Arrow is also on an outlap. He doesn't feel safe in P12. Codzilla is going to be a bit bum twitchy now because he's invalidated this and his final lap as well. So he's not going to go any quicker than that so time he set up in the eleven six oh four. So it's going to be uh, of the day. it's going to be squeaky bum time. Who sorry? Raratron. Okay, so he's out of qualifying. Uh, Foreman is way up, mate. Six tenths up. He's hooking together a good lap here. OP Rallying's three tenths up. Oh, in this, sector one. This is getting interesting. This is getting. Cod is going to be getting twitchy bum syndrome. Besides for that, he's got a case of worms. I don't know. Anyways, here comes Foreman. He's the Wall of Champs chicane. Oh, he's invalidated. Has he got time to get across the line to start another push lap? I don't think he has. Oh no, what a disaster. He would have gone a P9. He is he's OP in, Rallying he's in P14. Up. He, oh, OP Rallying is on a push. So this could put Foreman in a bit of trouble here, possibly. I don't know. I, mean, I think he's safe, actually, to be fair. Um, Sniper's out and Robotron's out. We know Shrews is out already. Here comes OP. What can he do? Coming down to the Wall of Championship count. Oh, it's a bit deep. He's not got the exit. He's lost a lot of speed through there, but can he just pull it together on this run up to the, uh, the, up to the start finish line? Yeah, it's P10. He, get, he uh, does get through nice. with, with a 111.459, a 1.2 second advantage. So that puts Foreman out of queue because I don't think he crossed the line in time. No, he didn't. So uh, we're going to lose. We're, gonna, we're only going to see 14 cars in Q2 with Shrews crash. It's unfortunate for Nigel as well because he was fairly comfortable down P11, P12. So we're going to lose for, uh, Shrews, Foreman, Sniper, and Rara. Wow. Absolutely. I did mention that, uh, Mr. Fryer. He didn't cross, uh, Foreman didn't cross the line in time anyway to set a time. And of course, Cod, uh, as we saw, did get an invalidation. That's why he couldn't go again. Uh, as you said, it does do you for that lap you're on, plus the final lap, uh, you, your next lap as well. So that's it, ladies and gents. Uh, Qualifying's done and dusted uh, in Q1. It seems like it went really, really quick. It flew by, mate. It absolutely, it absolutely flew by. All right, we'll just wait for the uh, the countdown cock, clock, cock. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the countdown clock to trickle down to zero, and then we can uh, give you confirmation of the uh, the Q1 results. I hate it when it waits, because like no one's going around on track. Just end the qualifying session game. You know what I mean? Jesus. Okay, there we go. All right, let's give you confirmation then of Q1 here at uh, Canada. Uh, Cheeseman safely through. We've seen uh, four drivers already into the 110s in Q1. Uh, Cheeseman, Hayes, midfield maestro, and rusted bolt. And then Massey, Gold, Negfry, Trash Magic, Jewel Coop, Turbo Snail, OP Rallying, Darko Wave, Godzilla, Arrow and uh, Super Ninja all safely through to Q2. And then dropping out of Q1, the Shrews, of course, he crashed. It's really unfortunate because he was, he had set a pretty decent time. He was sat in P12, but he is out 
of Q1. Foreman is out, Sniper is out, and also Raratron as well. Alrighty, uh, I think what we're going to do is um, we're going to head to the command centre. I think we'll take a look at last, just a, a recap of last week's Tier Two race at Spain, and then we'll have a look at the the current standings going into tonight's race, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that's a reminder of last week's Spanish Grand Prix. Midfield Maestro taking the win in what was a very close race. Uh, Maestro taking the win from Rusted Bolt in P2. Bruno finished in P3. Of course, Bruno, though, is uh, stuck at work, I think, on a computer, his work's computer or something. Uh, he is not racing tonight, neither is Legend. Uh, Darko Away came P5, Fryer in 6, Raratron in 7, Codzilla 8, Hayes 9, and Cheeseman 10. That was your top 10. Uh, fastest lap in the top 10 went to Hayes. Massive fastest lap outside the top 10. Biggest gainers last week was SLR Fryer, who finished nine places above his grid start. The biggest loser last week um, was actually in Massey. Uh, qualified in P2, ended up in P11. And we'll take a look at the, uh, the standings going into uh, tonight's result with the uh, race side with uh, Midfield Maestro currently leading the pack on 142 points with a decent advantage, a 26 point advantage over Rusted Bolt, uh, second of the championship. Fryer is P3, Darko Wade defending champion. Is he defending champion? I think pretty sure he's defending champion in P. No, is it Rusted Bolt or Darko Wade is champion last season? Okay. Uh, Rusted, I believe. Was it Rusted, was it? But Darko Wade there, P4 in the championship. Hayes in P5. Massey in six. Massey's one to watch though. He, he can have some incidents from time to time, but he's a very, very quick driver. Uh, and then we've got Cheeseman, Codzilla, Bruno, and Turbo Snell wrapping up the top 10 in the Constructors' Championship. It is very, very close there between Alpine and Mercedes. Just two points in that at the moment. Aston Martin, P3, just one point ahead of uh, Williams in four. Then we've got Aftari, Haas, Ferrari, Red Bull, uh, Alpha, Romeo, and then McLaren bringing up the rear P10 in the Championship. Having a bit of a season to forget so far. But plenty of time for that to change. Anyway, let's uh, go back to trackside and uh, pick up the action here in Q2, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Right, who have I got for the lead car? It's another Mercedes. Is it Maestro? Nope. It's Trash Magic. He's going to be the first car coming through. So uh, let's jump on board. He's about to start his first run in Q2. Of course, Q2, a very important session, guys. Uh, for those of you watching, those of you new to F1, uh, the top 10, of course, go through into Q3, the final qualifying session. But uh, those that do get through to Q3 must start the race on the on the tyre compound that they set their fastest lap on in Q2. So this is where the drivers have really got to think. You might well see a lot of drivers coming out on the medium tyres possibly here to see if they can get a, you know, do enough on those slower mediums to get through to Q3. Or they will have to switch over towards the end of this session back onto the soft red wall tyres and see if they can then push to get track position and get into that third qualifying session. All right, let's Hope have a look at... Hope uh, on the hards again. Okay, interesting. Uh, 42.453 for Trash for his Sector 2 split. That's the sort of time we saw quite a lot uh, in Q1. So this looks like it, he's on target for a low 11 here, I'd say. Uh, let's just get some beer uh, back up on the right-hand side of the screen for you guys watching at home. Uh, it's making his way down now towards the uh, the Wall of Champions. Chicane will throw the car in, just try and uh, avoid slamming into that uh, right-hand barrier. And it is, yeah, it's a 111.293 uh, for his Sector 2 split. We've got a gaggle of cars coming through, actually. I'm going to miss a couple of cars here, I think. Um, midfield Maestro is about to come through. He was quicker in Sector... Oh, what's that? No, he's backed out. Oh, he's backed out. It's a scrub set. Darko Wade goes uh, as a scrub set as well, 112.530. Uh, Arrow is invalidated. Massa yeah, goes through uh, with a legit time, 111.263 on the medium compound tyre. Turbo Snail goes through the 11.964. Uh, where's the two Astons? Jewel Coop with a 12.714. That'd be a scrub set. Let's jump on board of Godzilla. He's on the new set of medium tyres. Of course, you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, if you look at the uh, telemetry in the top right hand side of the screen where the car icon is, you'll see a percentage next to each tyre. That shows the tyre wear. So anyone <coughs> um, on soft tyres who is um, on about 10 or 11% in qualifying, that means they're on a scrub set. That's a, a set they've already used. There's already a little bit of wear in there. Uh, Cod goes P6 to the 12.580. Arrows uh, had a bit of a moment there at turn 7 by the looks of it. Um, Rusted Bolt, 42.469. That's quick on the mediums. 
really, really pushing it. So this could be a low 11. This could be uh, a, a very good time indeed when we need them ties. Yeah, it goes quickest to 111.099. And that's throwing out quite a benchmark to those guys that are using the soft tyres at the moment. 100%. Gold Nate Fryer, 42.979. He is on... Um, Joel Coates about to come through. About a scrub set. Well, I think Jill's on a scrub set, mate, isn't he? Yeah, he's well down, mate. He's not going um, to come off that. Uh, Gold Neck Fry's on the push. Just coming into the Wall of Champs UK now. Exits nicely. I think he's using a scrub set. Yeah, he is. Uh, it's a 112.394 for his first run, P6. Bit ac academic at the moment because uh, that will all change. Uh, Arrow's gone through. Hayes is uh, about to start a push. Super Ninja's about to go through. 12.570. These are all scrub sets at the moment. Cheesy. Scrub set. What a, that's a good time on a scrub set. 111.479. Very good time. OP Ramian is on the hard tyres again. Let's we'll see how he gets on. He'll be coming in the pitching and put another set of tyres on soon anyway. Yeah, 114.323. So, um, that's the first round. You see a lot of cars now coming into the pits and they'll be now... I think what you'll see, a, a, possibly a little bit of a lull here in this Q session because uh, car drivers will be keeping an eye on the timing screens uh, to see who is doing what on what compound and they'll be letting the clock run down a little bit and then probably, probably coming out with about three to four minutes left in the session. They'll leave it as late as they can, particularly guys sort of um, P, I'd say from P5 downwards, will be keeping them, will be clock watching and they'll come out as late as they possibly can on a new set of tyres. Because the idea is you want, of course, because you only have a certain amount, a finite um, allocation of tyres for the race itself, and you want to have, make sure you have the newest possible tyres for the race, whether it's hards, whether it's mediums, or whether it's soft compound tyres. Okay. Right, Maestro switched over to a new set of mediums. Uh, Turbo Snail also on a new set of mediums, uh, as is Darko Wade. So I think who my lead car is. It is uh, possibly a Williams. No, nope, it's not. Who's, who's my lead car, mate? Quickly. That's what I'm just trying to find out myself. Uh, Rastage is Bolt. coming through. Yeah, it's Rastage Bolt. Alpha Tower. Oh, this is quick, uh, Alpine mate. Time. This is quick. He's on a set of mediums. It's a 110 on the mediums, mate. Yeah, 110, 941. Wow. Fastest we've seen so far. Great lap there. Godzilla is on a... No, he's, Godzilla is not on a push. Um, Darko Wade's just started a flyer. Arrow is as invalidated. Opie Ram is still on the hards. So we'll go on board a Darko Wade. Just making his way up towards uh, turns three and four. That's your game. Keep an eye on that sector one split. Should be sub 20 seconds. He's going to be competitive. 19.949. Uh, needs to find some time. He's got to find, I reckon, about seven tenths in the final two sectors to be comfortable looking at uh, the leaderboard at the moment. It's going through turns eight and nine, back on the power again. Keep an eye on that sector two split. He's been around about a 42.5. Uh, he's, uh, yeah, he's not making the grounds he needs to make. 42.826 dark away. Not really hooking together a great lap at the moment. Uh, that's two tenths up. Sector one. Okay, thank you. But he's going to get a bit of a toe here. Is that his teammate? No, it's one of the, it's the slow going out thing, but this picked up a little bit of a toe there, did Darko Wade, and not just gained himself a tenth. Exits, uh, ent enters and exits the Wall of Champs chicane. Back on the power. Has he found time in the final sector? He has. He's found seven tenths in the final sector. That toe. Turbo, he's yeah. Just purple sector two. Okay, five, six tenths up. So Turbo's looking like he's going to be around about an 11 one, 11 flat maybe. Let's uh, see how he uh, gets on. Just coming into uh, the Wall of Champs UK. Yeah, it's carried a lot of speed through there. And that's pretty nicely done. Back on the power. Uh, low, low 11, I think, possibly. Uh, he lost time. He lost time in the third sector. Only P7. <clears throat> a 111.667. I don't know, mate, if that's going to be enough. Midfield Maestro. Four tenths up, sector two split. He's looking good from the 11 flat here. Oh, nicely done. Bit of a wobble there, but he's carrying so much speed. 
for the Mall of Champs. It's going to be a 110. Yeah, there we go. A 110, 635, ladies and gents, on the medium compound tyre. That is a mighty lap. Wow. Okay, OP started to push again. He's on the hards. Julku is four tenths up on the uh, the mediums but he's got a lot of time he's, he needs to make up of course top 10 go through the q3 uh, he's going to he's on he's on a, i'd say for a, uh, about an 11 9 maybe 12 flat possibly let's see how he gets on just coming into the wall of champs chicane now oh he's ah, he's got out of shape there that's an invalidation okay so that's his lap time deleted a few cars on out laps at the moment where's turbo where's golden egg fries he on a push just started a, not sure if he's on the push lap or not. Yes, a new set of mediums. Five minutes left in Q2, ladies and gents. Good evening. Gaming Fox, welcome in. Magic just started on that. Good to see you. Okay, Golden Enterprise back to that, let the car through. Uh, OP's finding a bit more pace on the hard. Is he going to come in now and get off those tyres? Because it's not going to be enough to get into Q3. He needs to, if he wants to, if he wants to get into Q3, he's got to get off those tyres. Magic's 19.8 in the uh, sector one split. Thanks, mate. We'll just watch OP go through. It's an, it is an improvement, but it's nowhere near enough. Uh, P12 with a 12.963. Hayes is uh, out and about on a set of tyres. A set of tyres? Yeah, of course he is. 42 flat. It's three, three and a half temps up in Sector 2. Purpled okay. it. Well, Hayes is well down. 42.7 at Sector 2. That's that's off the pace for Stacey. Okay, on board of Trash Magic. Making his way down now to the Wall of Champs chicane. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done indeed. In the yeah. one. About a 111 here. Yeah, 111009 for Trash Magic. He goes P3. That's a tidy lap. Somebody else just went through and wasn't sure. It was um, Hayes with an 11578. Is that going to be enough to get through? Darko Wade has come out with a new set of tyres. No, a scrub set of mediums. Gold Neg Fry is about to start a push lap. What about Jill? Jill's in the pits. He's going to be putting a set of softs on there. OP rallying, I think, is going to be. Well, hurry up. He's going to be coming in, I think, surely. Unless he just he's not bothered about getting into Q3. Yeah, he's coming in. He's coming in. That'd be a new set of. Um, wow. What does he do? Mediums or softs? Bit of a gamble now. What is? What tyre compound does he do? Cut off at the moment is an 11923, and that is not going to be enough. People are going to go quicker than that. Egg throw is one and a half times up. Yeah, uh, Arrow, his teammate, is ahead of him on track at the moment, so we're going to go with this. The two Williams currently uh, starting sector two. Midfield Maestro's retired. He's happy with his time. Oh, Arrow's got it all wrong at turn eight. He's got it all wrong. The jump on board a golden egg for his teammate. I think Arrow now will be under team orders to give his teammate a tow down that back straight. And Arrow, uh, Fry is three tenths up. But at the moment, that's not enough. He needs a tow off his teammate here. Are Williams going to sacrifice one of their drivers? That's the question. He'll be getting a little bit of a toe. Not a huge toe, but still a little bit of a toe. Uh, egg, uh, egg, well, uh, arrow's coming in. Okay, oh, that's nicely done there by uh, Eggfire through the uh, World Championship game. He looks to be okay. Goes P4, good time. Nice. 11 2 one, one Found a lot of time, mate, in that final sector. Really, really did. Uh, Darko Wade is down at his sector one split. Uh, Hayes is, I think she's on a push again. It's all happening here, mate. Gaming Fox, good evening. Hello. Uh, Cod, by the way, did retire on that 11374 again. Has he retired too soon? Okay, Hayes is prepping her car for a push lap. She's not on a push. Um, Turbo Snowy, I think, started a push. Darko Wade is about to come through, I think, is he? Go, uh, Darko away goes P8 with a 111.541. Turbo's two and a half temps up in the first sector. Okay, it's getting exciting now because Three. all of a sudden Purple Hayes is under pressure. She really is. She's going to have. She's on a on an installation lap at the moment. She's going to have to push really, really hard in that final lap. She's under a lot of pressure to get through to uh, Q3. This is going to be fascinating. See how it all pans out. Somebody is obviously we've got four drivers going to miss out here. Let's look at Turbo Snails. 40. Oh, he's lost time, mate, in Sector 2. He's lost a lot of time. But he has got time to go again. In fact, if I was Turbo Snail, mate, I would, I would back right off and save the battery and go for another push. But he is pushing. 
Wow, okay. I would have backed off and, and covered some battery. But, saying that, he's just gone nicely for the Wall of Champions. He's, he's, he's found some time there, for sure. Oh, yeah, he found like half a second, at least. P7, 11292. So, it's all happening now. Super Ninja is starting to push that. Julku is on a push, and he, is, he was up. He's gone for soft tyres. This is what I mean. Oh, he's invalidated. Matt's him out. Oh, kiss of death from the commentator, Jul. Massey's two and a half tenths up. Okay, mate, but Jul Coot is out of qualifying, mate. He's done and I've dusted. I've just seen that, yeah. Oh, disaster. Look at Massey. Both our towers are up. Okay, yeah, I, I think they're safe. I think they're safe. But I think they're going to just go through anyway. It might even lift off, possibly, here. Let's have a little look. No, he's still pushing hard. And goes P2. Great lap. Great lap from Massey. That's a super Hopefully lap. rallying. Purple sector two. Ah, oh, this is good. This is getting interesting. It's getting spicy, mate. Super Ninja. It's just coming through the hairpin as well. Let's have a look at OP. Julku, yeah, he had to retire because um, he invalidated his final run. He is out. Arrow is on the cusp at the moment. OP rain has gone through quite nicely. Target time is a 1. 11, 5, 7, 8. To put Stacey out. Oh, he's gone P9. Hayes is in the drop zone, mate. It's all happening. Super Ninja is about to come through. Has he found time in the final sector? No. Super Ninja is out. It's all down to Arrow and Hayes. What can they do? And in fact, they're both with each other. Hayes is two tenths up. Oh, this is looking spicy. What about Arrow? I didn't see a sector two split. Oh, Hayes is backed out. She's out of qualifying. Hayes is out. That's a shock. She's out of qualifying. What about Arrow? Can he? He's got to find a lot of time though, mate. Target time to 111.541, which would put Darko Wade out of qualifying, which again would be a shock. Oh, he's nicely through the wall of champs. That was a beautiful line. Oh, this is going to be close. 111.541, it's going to be close. He's through! He's through! Darko Wade is wow. out! Wow! Darko Wade is also out. So we've got two of the big hitters are out in Q2, ladies and gents. Wow! Hello! That's made this race really, really spicy. Alex Albon just shown up in his Williams. Wow! <laughs> Arrow is through by the skin of his teeth. But it, the pressure was on and he's done it. There we go, ladies and gents. Confirmation. Uh, midfield Maestro, Massey, Rusted Bolt safely through. They will start the race on the me on the medium tyres. Cheeseman and uh, Trash Magic, uh, they, they will stay safely through. They will start on the soft tyres. We've got Golden Egg for our Turbo Snail, Codzilla, OP Rally, and Arrow all safely through to Q3. They will start the race on the medium compound tyres, provided, of course, it's a dry race. And dropping out of qualifying, well, two shocks straight away. Dark 08 and Purple Haze, surprised. Big surprises there, seeing them drop out of qualifying. Super Ninja and Jewel Coop. Jewel will be gutted because he switched over to the softs and he invalidated. He would have almost certainly gone through and put Arrow out. But there we go, ladies and gents. Wow, what a qualifying session uh, that was, Andrew. Q2, mate. Wow, awesome stuff. Right, give me two secs. I've got to just um, grab something out of the lounge. Um, oh, hello. We've got rain in Q3. Hello. This has suddenly got very, very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be right back. Have you seen this, Ganders? We got rain, mate. I have, mate. I Hello. Have. Oh, it's getting moist. I think it's going to be music to April's ears. <laughs> Let's get some telemetry. Now, what have we got? Have we got slick tyres? We have, mate. Now, the question is, we saw it last night. Of course, it, it, uh, it rained at the start of the race, and some guys stayed out. Now, is it going to be one of those situations for the Q sessions, only, only 12 minutes, where it stays dry enough for slick tyres? This... Or Unless they're trying to get a banker in as quickly yeah, as possible. I, I was just about to say that. Oh, is the rain going to get heavier? And they're all coming out now so they can set laps. Does that before? mean they are all yeah. flying? Oh, mate, like, none of them are holding back. No, they're pushing, mate. <clears throat> and they've all come out very quickly as well. Yeah. Apart so, from Keesman and I oh, know OP Rallying's coming. Is he on the hards? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, um, he's on the soft, so yeah, I, mate, I reckon they're just wow. trying to get that in as quickly as possible. Yeah, um, top 10 tyre allocation is in the divisional chat. Of course, if it is wet, it won't matter. Yeah, well, absolutely. Well, if the race is wet, yeah, but if it's if the race yeah. is dry, mate. Okay, well, looks like we've got If Alfa the race is dry, yeah. Is it the Alpha Tauri's out first? 
Yeah, it's Massey. Uh, it is, yes. All right, let's jump on board with Mr. Massey. About to start his uh, first run. Okay, here we go. So we've got uh, damp conditions, moist conditions here now in Q3. And I think I think you might have nailed it, Andrew, with your call. I think it's everyone's out because they know the rain, the track's going to get just greasier and slippier. So now's the time to be on track. Get those times in. Basically, if you need to F1, if they have to switch over to the intermediate uh, wet tyres, those tyres are so much slower than slicks. So now's the time to be out on track. Oh, I'll tell you what, did I start to see a couple of puddles on track there, possibly? The rain bouncing off? I'm not sure. Maybe it's a little graphical glitch. Uh, through through to sector two, I am starting to see slight yeah. puddles appear. That's what I saw. I thought I saw it, mate. But here comes Massey. He's on a push. It's a 43 flat for his uh, sector two split. So there's still a, there is still some grip there, mate. Turbo's that's, invalidated. Oh, that, that, that's big news for Turbo, mate, because the track's just getting wetter and wetter and wetter. Opie Rallying invalidated, Trash Magic's invalidated. Oh, mate. Mate, what the fuck? Don't forget, of course, talking about mate, what the fuck? All the sound alerts. Come on, start using them, guys. Oh, Massey's being aggressive, though. This is this is great driving from Massey. It's not going to be an ultra-fast lap, but the track conditions aren't there. Right, 112, 5 through 7, that's your banker. Um, uh, Arrow is about four tenths down at Sector 2. He's about to come through Mid Mid Maestro. Maestro. Uh, Arrow goes P3, the 12741. Turbo Snow's invalidated. Here comes the mighty Godzilla. Cod goes P4, the 112.581. Rusted Bolt, um, he's invalidated. OP Rallying's invalidated. Trash Magic uh, has just started a push. Wow. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Mate, what the fuck? Thank you, Jakey G. I love that. Oh, talking about that sound look, of course, most of you guys know who watch the channel regularly. That is, of course, the sample voice of none other than ERN owner, um, ERN Storm. And uh, don't forget, guys, ERN are actually setting up a performance league, which I think starts either this Sunday or next Sunday. That's one of our partner leagues, European Race Night. So um, <clears throat> go onto the Discord server. If you fancy some decent performance car racing on a Sunday night, uh, hit the link in the Discord, join their server, register for the uh, for the Sunday night racing, and I will see you there because I'm going to oh, be racing. Oh, trash is just he did. invalidated. Oh, yeah, I've just seen that, mate. Ball. I am on board with him, yeah. So, um, yeah, um, sign up, guys. Sign up for European Race Night on a Sunday night. And you'll even be racing with me, the racing guru, because I will be racing on Sunday nights uh, in ERN. Looking forward to it. A lot of uh, familiar faces there uh, going to be racing with. Okay, like Rusted Bolt's about to go again um, on another push. It's still, yeah, it's... Oh, I'm trying to work out whether the track's getting greasier, whether it's just state. No, it is getting, it's getting greasier, mate. Rusted Bolt is struggling uh, to get the hammer down there in Q2. OP Rally has just lost a lot of time into Warner Champions. Mm, oh, mate. Yeah, I think it's inter I think the, the time for Slicks is gone, mate. Possibly. Yeah, it, mate. Honestly, it is. You can see the track just getting wetter and wetter. Yeah. But for the guys who haven't set laps, though, they need to still, you know, it's all about track position now. So if they can put into Zon and just push anyway, you know, because it's, it's a battle basically now for P, from P7 down to P10, I reckon. Uh, Jakey Juice says, are you going to be streaming your POVs beer? Yeah, damn right, mate. I'm, I'm, yeah, I will be streaming POVs. As long as ERN are happy with that, of course. I don't know what their, what their criteria is for uh, drivers uh, streaming their own races, but that's what I plan to, mate. I do plan to. Uh, Magic said it's too wet. Yeah, I, I, I kind of agree there, dude. He's going to try slicks, though, he thinks. Okay, give it a go, mate. You got It's a roll of the dice, isn't it, in these conditions? Okay, Cheesy's gone, going for it. What about OP? Is he on a push? No, he's invalidated. So we'll jump on board a cheesy... Oh, Rusted Bolt's about to come through. No, he's about to start a push, I think. Yeah, he's about to start one. Okay, we'll go with cheesy. Woo. I, I, do you know, Andy, I, I, I don't like rating Q3, mate. I think it ruins a great qualifying session. You know what I mean? 100%, mate. Yeah, really I did just try to join the RN again, but it said the invite links. Uh, that, that means you're banned. Yeah. <laughs> um, so do, you want to, well, do you want to message Arns and David and get you sorted? Yeah. I remember there was a previous incident. But yeah, there was. I remember. It was, it was a couple of three years ago, though, to be fair. 
It, it was quite a while. It was. I, but what I do, uh, mate, I'll, I'll, message, I'll message Storm and Arts and get that lifted. So if you look, yeah, no, no, yeah, that'll have you. <clears throat> okay, Cheeseman, though, by the way, um, has gone P6 on those softs. He went quicker than OP rallying. So that's made it a little bit interesting. Rusted Bolt is also on the push. So Rusted Bolt, I say P6, P10 are still open, open here to. Uh, to some movement. Now, Rusted Bolt's coming in. Oh, Rusted, you should be doing that, mate. Well, I say, yeah. Uh, like, yeah, you can do it in qualify. Because if you do that race, you get a time penalty. Okay, Turbo is now on the push, but the rain is really starting to come down now. You can actually see, if you look carefully, guys, you can see the raindrops bouncing off the asphalt. I'll be able to see a bit clearer soon. I'll pick up some glasses in a couple Wait, of days. I was going to say, what, you stop, you're stopping wanking, are you fine? You go no, mate. Gandhi has now got to wear glasses. A bit like me, the racing gear. I feel I don't wear them all the time, as you know, but I do wear them a good chunk of the time. It's so bad. I mean, yes, yeah, it won't be a regular wear them. No, but you have to. Is that TIR only fans in the background? Now I can hear you. That is TIR only fans in the background. Yes. Hey, Haley. Who's me? <laughs> Your nickname. Beer calls you TIR only fan. But do you not remember the joke? Oh, oh she's forgot. Oh dear, well she's a woman. Oh Jesus Christ, I'll just show that. Oh. Fucking hell. Oh. <laughs> oh, get off Dad's laptop, mate. <laughs> okay, right, Codson's retired. Um, Turbo Snail, can he get 114 flat to get... No, it's P8 for Turbo Snail. Uh, Trash Magic has come back out on a set of soft compound tyres. Just come making his way now through turns 8 and 9. Keeping on the sector 2 split. He needs to be around about a 44-3. To challenge Cheeseman. Oh, he's down, mate. 45 3. The track's just getting wetter and wetter and wetter. Candy, please, ret please report to the dog out, says Jamie. I think more like beer, mate. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble with Haley. I think she'll give me a slap when I. Well, uh, yeah, I'm not in trouble there. That's, that's all on beer, Dave. Yeah, I'm going to get in trouble for that. <laughs> she'll kick his ass. She'll kick my ass, mate. <laughs> Okay, what can Trash do? He's just rolling the dice here because the track conditions are awful. Uh, 115, 544. Um, he may try and stay out and get another run in. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's really worth it. Rusted Bolt has had enough. He retired his car. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, it's a bit of a dead session, really. As I said, guys, I, I don't like it when rain interferes with Q3. Uh, it just ruins it for me, you know. And it also means I just go and waffle for like 10 minutes. You know what I mean? Oh well. <sighs> oh well. Uh, to me, that looks like qualifying's done, mate. Oh, I think we are. Midfield Maestro uh, has put it on pole, and look, he's P2, mate. He's done it again. Lucky Golden Egg Fryer. <laughs> he does it all the time, mate. Look at Cod. Is he sweating oh. in P4? Oh, Cod, mate. I'm, uh, someone needs, uh, I think he needs oxygen, mate. He's got a nosebleed. <laughs> he's hemorrhaging badly. He's that far up. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hello, who's that on track? Oh, Cheeseman's come back out again, mate. He's come back out of sauce. He's taking, yeah, he's taking the piss out of Trash Magic. He's like, oh, I'm not sauce, mate. I'm just overtaking you. Oh dear. I uh, don't forget. To come out. Oh, it's horrible, mate. It's horrible. Uh, don't forget, guys. Uh, anyone watching, if you're new to the channel, hit that follow button. Let me know who you are. I'll give you a nice warm welcome to the channel. Don't forget, of course, you can also subscribe to the channel as well uh, via paid subscription service tier one, tier two, tier three to unlock all those lovely emojis or of course if you're an amazon prime customer you get a free twitch subscription to your favorite streamer yours truly as part of your I'll amazon post prime a link package. to the only fan yeah, absolutely <laughs> absolutely um my stress is on the flip side beer pressure to nail the one shot yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yes jkg down right mate he's eight temps down in sector one who's that what, Cheesy? Cheeseman. He's backed out. Yeah, uh, you heard the click down. Yeah. <laughs> OP's out and about, and he's miles down as well. I think they're just wasting fuel. Yeah. Killing tyres, wasting fuel. I'm surprised no one's just tried putting the intermediates on, mate. I mean, what's what's the cutoff? What's, what's the crossover from the inters, uh, from slicks to inters on qualified? What do you reckon, about 115? No, it's going to be Next slower day. than that. It's about 118, 
Mm. Anyway, Cheesy's uh, coming into the pits. And we are done. We're just killing time now, guys. Is there any esports races on tonight? Uh, like let me have a look. TI are in action tonight in any esports. I know, I tell you what, the guys, the guys actually had a pretty good result in the uh, the Big Two's opening race at Bahrain on Saturday. I think it's P7 and P9 for Liam and uh, Paul Loss. It was a good result. I don't know how the assist team's got on for Kirby and Smeggy last night. I'm not sure. Of course, uh, big news coming. I've got, well, I'm going to do a little teaser. We've got a big name coming to TIR Esports main team, ladies and gents. Uh, just a few... Little bits, little bits of uh, negotiation to work out, but a big name is coming to TIR Esports very, very soon. It's going to surprise some people. Okay, Q3 result then. Midfield Maestro takes pole position for the uh, Canadian Grand Prix. Golden Egg 5 joins him on the front row. We've got row two will be Massey and the mighty Godzilla. Row three will be Arrow and Cheeseman. Row four, OP Rallying and Turbo Snail. Row five will be Trash Magic and rusted bolt so there we go ladies and gents right i'm going to take a very short break um ganders if you can i think well, actually stacy might do it she might yeah stacy's already done it she's put the ready up in the chat uh, for nine o'clock ganders can you just take over mate for two seconds i need to go and grab a drink and uh, you know sprinkle the old porcelain mate are you there ganders I am. I didn't realise my headset had muted. Ah, that's all right, mate. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was take... talking the whole time. <laughs> I was, oh. was going to take a quick break, mate. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyone got a weather update? Because last night in Div 3, it was uh, um, dry, wet, dry. Guys, just remember top 10, your tire allocation is in your divisional chat. So, mediums and two, three, yeah, two soft runners. Please. Right, you need to change your tyres, mate. Cheeseman, you need to put the softs on. Erbo, you need to put the mediums on. Jeez, man, can you change your tyres? Right, yo, I'm back. I was just about I'm to just back on set, for... mate, and I realised I didn't have my earphones on. I'd left them in the bloody lounge, mate. What am I doing? What am I like? Jesus, I'm so old I should be put down and shot. I'll never be as old as Skin Shaggy, though. Just All waiting right. for Drum to change their tyres over. Oh, apparently he's gone for a Siggy. Someone's just posted up in the uh, Discord. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, and I need trash magic. All right. Um, Dixon's guys, who do you think is going to win tonight's race then? Is midfield moisture going to go back to back? What do you think, guys? I'm going to start doing some, um, some predictions again for channel points. I won't do it tonight, it's too late now, but I think for tomorrow night for the uh, elite tiers I will do. All right. So we're about to get underway, ladies and gents. 35 laps uh, around the circuit. We're one minute away from showtime, I believe. I don't know whether they've got the formation map on. You what, mate? We need Cheeseman to change tyres. Well, right, he's gone for a Siggy. If he doesn't, mate, he has to pit after the first in chat. Okay, otherwise he'll have to... If he doesn't, he'll have to pit after lap one to put the correct tyres on, mate, or he will be disqualified. Oh, apparently he already has, but it's on his oh, strap okay. screen, so it won't update till he oh. leaves it. Oh, we, we believe you, Cheesy. Because if not, you're patting pitting yeah. lap one. If not, you're fact, mate. Proper fact. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what nemesis means? Do you know what <laughs> nemesis means? A righteous, was it a righteous infusion of retribution personified in this case by horrible cunt, me. Something like that, anyway. That's it, mate. Yeah. If you walk in front of me again, I'll cut your fucking jaw. Oh, I love off. that, I love that. <laughs> you bet your bollocks were a bond arch. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, thank you for the follow, Williams. Williams Racing, welcome in. We're just about to get underway for this 50% race around the uh, Circuit de Gilles Villeneuve in Montreal, Canada, which has been absolutely banging race, ladies and gents. We've got overcast conditions, but it does look dry. Which is the good mate, I'm looking really tanned. I just noticed that. You've been oh, on the sunbeds, mate. Oh, I don't know if I've been doing something. I mean, I'm, I'm Secretly, gonna... you've booked me your crew, and you're just going to have a sunbed every day until we go. Go, mate, yeah. <laughs> Another one of my guys beer says Jamie. Jamie, he he's the he's the man. He, he's he, Jamie's the man with his finger on. The, I was going to say something else. The finger on the pulse of esports racing. You know what I mean, ladies and gents. Absolute legend. Okay, here we go. No formation lap. I think we're racing straight away. Oh my days. I hope Cheeseman's tyres have changed. And we are off and running, ladies and gents. It's showtime coming down towards turn one. Midfield Maestro has got the start that he wanted. He's, yeah, he stayed in front. Gold neck for RMP2. Let's get the uh, tyre strats. There we go. Darker Wade's opted for hard tyres. We've got some movement further down the order, but I think everyone's got through safely. But a great start for Midfield Maestro. He is off and running, ladies and gents. He's already opened up the nine tenths uh, gap. Oh, hello. Cheeseman's at the moment. Oh, we should have kept the old tyres on, mate. He is facing the wrong way. Look at that. That's an absolute nightmare. We've got a safety car. Link's gone as well. Eey, 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 eey. Well, Sorry. <laughs> well, I think Cheeseman would be like, oh, fucking hell, I wish I'd stayed on the right tyres now. Wow. We got a safety car, ladies and gents. You know what that means? I've got some work to do. Beer my Lando is about to take charge of this race. Here I am. I've got the Aston Martin safety car out tonight, ladies and gents. Look, no hands. I'm that good. <laughs> okay, safety car deployed then, ladies and gents. Is anyone going to come in and change over tyres? What about any of the hard runners? Will they switch strats or is everybody going to stay out? Cheeseman's the guy who has got a pit. Of course, he's missing a front wing there in that Ferrari. We'll just keep an eye on the leaders anyway to see if anyone does pop in. I'm not expect really expecting any pit stops, to be honest, mate. Oh, somebody is coming in. Trash Magic's coming in. He's dropping the uh, soft hot tyres. So he's going to go probably hard mediums to the end of the race, I reckon. I don't think anybody else is coming in. Everyone else... Uh, well, obviously Cheesy's got to come in. We know that. The new front wing. So we've got two guys pitting. Uh, Cheeseman for a new front wing. And uh, Trash Magic's coming in for a strat call. Oh, sorry. Opie Rallying's come in as well now. Uh, just a tyre change. He's switched over to the... Wow. He's put the hard tyres on. Of course he is. He loves those hard tyres. He's got a fetish for the hard tyres, ladies and gentlemen. So, three cars pitted in. Trash Magic has also switched over to hard compound tyres. Cheesy's come out with a new set of mediums. He wants to try and get some overtaking done. He'll want to clear those hard runners ahead of him uh, as quickly as he can on the restart. I'm a little bit surprised uh, a safety car's come out, in all honesty, Ganders. Um, was there really any need for it, do you think, mate? I think there was debris on the track, and he was set sort of sat in the middle of the track so okay. that's probably why it's deployed alright okay mate 
It's looking very murky though. Is there any rain forecast? I mean, we've not had a weather update. Uh, the, the fact well, that I did guys... ask for one. Yeah. Well, the thing is, the fact that guys are on hard compound tyres means that if if rain is forecast, it's certainly not forecast anytime soon, because otherwise it was like, they're um, did free. Well, that was weird it... last night, wasn't it? Yeah, it just um, it just it just went so wet so quickly. It is a dry race, says Dark Rider Shane. Thanks, buddy. It's a dark dry race, yeah. A dark dry race, yeah. Of course, that, that itself creates challenges, though, with uh, over, overcast skies. Uh, not so much visibility, but the fact that track temperatures will be pretty low, meaning, of course, guys on the harder compound tyres are going to find it that more difficult to keep heat in their tyres. Which, of course, less heat in the tyres, guys, means less mechanical grip. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this all pans yeah, out. Yeah, give me Rakan and then don't bother warming them up. Yeah. There's a name I've not seen in the chat for a long time. Beast Assassin! How you doing, fella? Wow. Long time no see, my friend. Good to see you. Are you still over at SLR, mate? Good to see you. Um, Dark Rider Shane actually says, no, actually, he said dry. He's changed his mind there, mate. Uh, he says, now there may be rain right at the end, but unlikely unless we go full time. Okay, interesting. That boy changes uh, his mind and his underpants. Yeah, he does, mate. Yeah, he's, he's, up, <laughs> he's, he's up and down more times than a, than a horse knickers. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> AJ, good to see you, buddy. My PUBG partner says, can the hearts go to the end? Yeah, interesting. Good evening, by the way. Good evening to you, sir. Hope you're doing well. Okay, safety car's coming in. So we will go back racing. So I'm going to jump out of safety car. My work is done. I've led my two laps of the race. So I can now retire. Alrighty, and we're going to be uh, off and running again very, very slowly. Luckily for the cheese man, that hasn't cost him too much. Yeah, he's just joined yeah. the back of the pack. Yeah, good to see you, Beast. Yeah, I thought you were over an lot. I did see on Twitter, I saw the tweet that the car draws, I think, is it just after 9 o'clock tonight? I might even tune in, actually, after the stream, or chuck a raid over or something to you guys. Is it is it being streamed on the official SLR channel? If, if so, I'll chuck, a, I'll chuck a raid over. Give you guys some more viewers. SLR, of course, one of our old uh, partner leagues. Uh, but we're off and running, and midfield and again has lit those tyres up. He's absolutely flying. Uh, he's looking mighty tonight. Championship leader, of course. We're just over halfway through the season here in TIR, season 11, and midfield maestro uh, has got a 26-point advantage at the top of the table, and he's looking good for improving on that as well. Oh, as... trash. Naughty, naughty. What's he done? Oh, dear. Oh, there's been an incident between trash and Rara at uh, turn two, by the looks of it. Both those cars were off. Now, have they got damage? Let's check Bielemetry. It, they look okay. They look okay. No damage on those cars. But um, Midfield Maestro has already uh, opened up a gap over the one second. Of course, there is no DRS until two complete laps have been com uh, two laps have been completed after. Uh, those on the back of Darko. Yeah, just watching that, mate. Here we go. And he's looking uh, looking possibly for a move. Uh, Alpha Tauri against the. Uh, that was good placement Ash. from Darko. Oh, might be, may have been a contact. Oh, look at this. Darko and uh, Rusted Bolt again side by side. Let's jump on board for some up close and personal action. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. No DRS, of course. It's all straight line speed. Down towards the more chance That's Super Ninja. Who's got the ball? Thank you, mate. Who's got the ball to steal? As they feed their way for the Wall of Champs. They've got a slow car there. Who's, who's that going really slow? We've got a safety car. What on earth have we got a safety car for? What's happened? What has happened there? We've got cars pitting, we've got Super Ninja and Sniper in the pits. Why have we got a safety car? Mate, this is the one thing I hate. This game itself is what? not a bad game. I see Henry. Someone's got damage. Okay, let's um, let's have a little look through, shall we? Oh, midfield. No front win. Wow, the leader has got damage. That must have happened at the Wall of Champs chicane, mate. Yeah, he's got no ring at all. Well, I said he was looking good. All of a sudden, now he has got a, um, he's got a pit. And that's going to cost him a shit ton of positions. Excuse my language. Uh, Trash has got damage as well. Grit, good to see you, mate. Mr. Grit Master. Grit leading the way. Well, about to lead the way, of course, in Tier 3. A great result last night. Yeah, great win for Grit. Good to see you, buddy. I hope you're having a fine, fine evening north of the border. So, safety car number two. Yeah, what I was going to say, Ganders, is th this game is pretty good uh compared with like the last couple of games but 
if there's an issue that I've found actually within, not a glitch, but just an issue with the game, it, it tends to bring the safety car out too often, I think. You're seeing a lot what of... I've um, noticed is the minute debris is like, at any point in yeah. the middle of the track or on the track, it instantly deploys the exactly, safety car. Exactly, exactly. I'm not a... Yeah, okay, they say art imitates real life. In real life, yes, you would see a safety car, but this is a racing game, and... And certainly what the drivers don't want, what the viewers don't want, is just seeing a, a procession of cars behind the safety car. Do you know what I mean? We want to see racing. Uh, it's cold up in Scotland, as always. I tell you, mate, here in the northeast, it is bloody freezing, mate. It really, really is. It's bloody we had, freezing we had, down we snow, here, yeah, Oh, mate, we had some snow today. It was lovely. I mean, I love seeing the snow. If any of you have seen my Facebook updates, of course, uh, I'm like a kid when it comes to snow. I just love the stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, you know. Oh, it's just awesome. Just awesome. I, I awesome. just love Jackson's reaction reaction when he sees snow. Well, of course, down in the south east, you do get the old Kent streamers, don't you? Coming through uh, the River Thames, don't you? So I suppose you're in prime yeah. position there in like Medway area for a bit of uh, yeah, snow mate. from the North Sea. Like, literally, he's like a fat kid in a bakery when he sees snow. Uh, trash is DNF. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's happened there? Has he... Wow. Is he retired? No, he just said the car just popped. It's just uh, on the curb. It's just gone, gone on him. Wow, unlucky magic, dude. Unlucky, mate. Wow. So trash is uh, well trashed, basically. I, th I said trash is trashed, not trash, by the way. <laughs> uh, Gauzy, good to see you, buddy. Says there should be a setting for like three safety cars limit, and they can't change. Yeah, do you know what? I'd be. I think it's four or five, isn't it? It's four. I know it's normally been four i would say three maximum safety cars and also, i'd also say safety cars in terms of in game safety cars only for a dnf not for just an uh, an incident on track which may result in debris or something come out a little bit it is mate it is well it definitely can't be the northeast grand prix mate for sun's come out like holy shit <laughs> No, it was nice to see some, uh, it was lovely to see some snow today. And there, was, there is a bit more actually forecast possibly overnight tonight as well. Some snow showers feeding down uh, from the north. Like, uh, I'm the same as you, Grit. I've just seen that. Yeah, we were, it was an ice ice day, what they call an ice day here. The temperatures never rose about freezing. It was bloody cold. Good evening, Jason. You've got your account working again, dude. Good to see you, my friend. Hope you're doing all right, mate. If you just joined us, this is safety cart number two. Uh, not because of particularly bad racing, it's just I think the safety car has been a bit, I think the game's been a bit dr uh, draconian with its deployment of the safety car. Unlucky Magic, mate, come back next week. I think, we're, we're, where are we next week? Is it Austria next week, uh, Ganders? I think it is, isn't it? Is it Austria? Let me have a look. Have a look at the old calendar. I know we've got some good racing tracks coming up. We have... Austria. Austria next week. Followed mate. by Zanville, then oh, Monza, oh, then yes. Japan. Oh, Singapore, some great tracks. Mexico, oh, and Mexico. then last, Vegas. Well, Vegas, we're not sure about yet. We may still replace that with Interlagos, depending if that glitch is still there with Vegas. Uh, we're gonna do, be, we'll be doing plenty of testing. Uh, the invisible that. wall. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be doing some testing before we, uh, we before we green light it. If, if necessary, we'll go back to, um, we'll go to Interlagos. But yeah, we've got some great tracks coming up, though, ladies and gents. We've got some great racing here in TII over the next uh, three or four weeks on At those ultra-fast circuits. Silverstone will be back in next season, mate. I still have fucking PTSD over, over, over Silverstone. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we're I wasn't going to say that. But... <laughs> we're back running, ladies and gents. Safety car is in, and we are back racing. That should just disappear off the uh, BLM tree. There we go. And Golden Egg Fries racing. He's got Massey right behind him. Codzilla with a nosebleed in P3. Good uh, GG's from Cod. Arrow and P4, Dark I in P5. But um, where's Midfield Maestro? He's come out in P15 after making his pit stop. He is on the hards. He should be able to go to the end on those tyres. So um, quite a few cars ahead of him. Most cars ahead are going to have to pit. So Midfield Maestro, his race is not over yet. Not not by a right lot. on the back of Raratron. Who's that, mate? Midfield Maestro, right on the back of Raratron. Let's have a little look at that. Nice little POV view there from Cody's. Good to see. Almost got the cops cam out there, mate. Got my chopper like out. Jagoon! Good to see you, fella. The Bristolian ball basher. Good to see you, my friend. 
Midfield is having a good look at Roatron here. Let's jump on board. Here we go. As you've got the move down there, side by side coming up to the turn 10. Hairpin right was trying to defend at the inside. Midfield's going to have to go the long, long, long way round. Oh, this is great driving. And midfield Maestro has got the job done. That was ballsy. Beautiful move there. And Foreman's got Sir uh, Julku as well. And OP is that uh, Cheeseman having a look at OP rallying coming down. Not quite close enough. We're going to jump on board the leaders. Rush the Bolton Turbo Snow going side by side. We've got Alpine versus Alpha Tauri there. Massey has not found a way past Golden Egg Fry yet. But he's, he's showing pace. I think DRS will be kicking in the next lap, I believe. Got some movement. It's uh, cheesy. I think it's got past OP rallying. Yo, I just caught the end of that move. move. Yeah, I've just caught the end of it, mate. Turn three, turn four, chicane. Beautiful from cheesy. He's up to P12. Of course, he's got a bit of extra grip in those uh, those softer medium compound tyres. But uh, we'll just flick back onto the broadcast cameras. They're filtering their way up towards. Uh, oh, I'm so tempted to get the cop copter cam out. I really am. I'm trying to find. Hang on. It's going to change, though, isn't it? Hey, hey, I was chased. I've just crashed the helicopter. For fuck's sake. I hate it when it does that, Ganders. The game hates me. Whenever I get the copter cam out, it changes view and I crash the helicopter. And I'm, it, it's, it's a three million pound repair job. You know what I'm saying? I hate it, mate. Anyways, back on back with the action. And Codzilla's it's got a lovely exit. Yeah, he got a lovely exit. No DRS, though, of course, at the moment. It, it does kick in now. Enabled. Yeah. We'll just uh, jump on board with Cod. He, he got a beautiful slingshot there through the Wall of Champs. Super Ninja on Rarotron. Uh, Out okay. of Wall of Champions. Has he made it stick? He has. Julku picks up the first he time has. penalty of the race. Uh, Rarotron joins Rarotron. him. Hey, hang on. I was on board of Rara. What, what did he do wrong there? Turbo how, also picked up the penalty. How has he got a penalty for that? That's ridiculous. He didn't do anything. The track limits here, mate, are disgusting. Yeah, but he wasn't on the track limits, mate. He was in the middle of the track and it flashed up three second time penalty. What on earth is going on with this game? Uh, if he wants to appeal that, make yeah. sure you have a full race direct. Oh, that was crazy. Unlucky magic, just come back, dust yourself off, mate. Come back at Austria next week, mate, and show us what you can do. Now, yeah, is that race get you down? Yeah, absolutely. Is Massey going to be close enough for a run on gold neg fry? I don't think he is. He's, he will be deploying that DRS. Yeah, DRS is wide open. He's certainly gaining on me. Good Maestro and Joel Coop. Okay. That's a pretty straightforward move there for midfield. Yeah, he's safely through. Back on board with the leaders. Is Massey going to have a second run here? Golden Egg going to have to go defensive to turn one. Super Ninja just got past OP running for P14, P15. Super Ninja, of course, on the uh, soft compound tyres. Oh, hello. Hello. We've got uh, yellows. It's Wall of Champs. We've got a Ferrari off. It's Super Ninja for the Wall of Champs. Yeah, Super Ninja's off at the Wall of Champs. Uh, Sniper's just got past Rarotron. Oh, Rarotron's got wing damage. I reckon Rarotron and Super Ninja had it coming together, mate. Uh, Rarotron's got no front wing. He's going to have to pit. It is okay by the looks of it. Doesn't appear to have damage. And uh, look at Darko Wave all over the back of Arrow. He's going to go for a move here at the inside to turn eight. He's going to be brave under the brakes to turn eight. And he's got the job done, but Arrow's fighting back. Has to lift off. And there, through goes Rusted Bolt as well with an opportunistic overtake. He moves himself up to P5. Oh, mate, it's getting all spicy. And there goes Turbo Snail. Go for a big overtake. Oh, hello. T uh, when the Alpines, it, the Alpines has gone wide. That was... Um, I'm not sure who that was. Rusted Bolt, I think. Wow. All happening here, ladies and gents. And up front, uh, Arrow's going for the move. Uh, sorry, Turbo Snow, we've got movement up front. Massey's just taken the lead, going up the inside to the Wall of Champs. He, of course, it's double DRS here, so that he's going to seal that deal. Rusted Bolt has got past a Darko Wade. He is up to P4, absolutely motoring along at the moment. We've got action in the midfield here all over the place. We've got Hayes oh, on the back of Arrow. And Cheeseman, racist, Cheeseman Shrews, Cheeseman Shrews. Cheeseman's going around the outside. Shrews defending on the inside line. It's Ferrari versus Haas. And through goes Foreman. But Shrews is going to fight it back. Shrews got better traction and managed to uh, retake that position. Oh, lovely passenger race in there, guys. Really, really good to see. But Cheeseman has sealed the deal. Uh, Rarotron Sniper in the pits. New front wings going on there. I think Super... I thought, I thought this one Super Ninja had damage. Maybe he didn't. Uh, Rarotron had damage. Yeah. Ninja was fine. Okay. Uh, Hayes on the hard compound tyres all over the back of Arrow. She needs to get a job done because Arrow is dropping out of DRS range on Turbo Snail. Wow. Um, Dragoon says, uh, watching the Bristol City game currently. Oh, never mind. 
Uh, beating West Ham. Oh, Christ, don't, don't tell Wayne Hammer that. Jesus Christ, he'll kill you. <laughs> okay, here comes Hazen looking for a move on Arrow. Arrow will have DRS, but look at the overspeed on Hazen's car. She's like, say an Arrow. Good night, bye bye. On her way, and she is up to uh, to P7. Got some move. Midfield Maestro is getting a move done on Foreman. He is up to P11, so he is making good strides now through the mid pack. He may even have a run at uh, Shrews here. He is. Shrews has got DRS, but Midfield Maestro. Is he going to get the job done? He's going to go late on the brakes in turn one. Shrews has got the inside line. Oh, it's contact, but I think that's that's a racing incident. That's a racing incident. Uh, midfield Maestro has been spun around, but I don't think Shrews did anything wrong there. Uh, that's my that's my view. I think that was Shrews just defending. He's perfectly entitled to do that. Uh, there'll probably be a ticket raised, but I reckon that'll be a uh, racing incident. Okay, back up front. Let's have a look and see what's going on there. Uh, Jason says, not too bad. Strained a, a muscle in my calf in the right leg. So just resting. Jason, what are you doing to your body, mate? What are you doing to your body? Too much of it. No, I'm not going to go there. I hope you know. Seriously, I hope you, feel, I hope you get better soon, though, mate. I don't know if you are you are taking a night off tomorrow night or are you still planning on racing, Jace? All right, okay. Let's get back with a motor racing anyway, ladies and gents. We've got the top per four just covered by a few car lengths here. Massey is your race leader from Golden Egg Fry in P2, Godzilla in P3, uh, Rusted Bolt in four. Now they're 1.5 seconds clear of, of Doco. Wait, oh, uh, Godzilla's in the pits. He's dropping those tires. Oh, yeah, at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I did as well because it's the Wall of Champs <laughs> game, the same place, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so he'll be going onto the hard compound tyres. So he'll be doing a one stop. And uh, Gold Neg Fry is all over the back of Massey as they're coming through turn two. They're really, really close. And Rusted Bolt, of course, right in there. Shrews has picked up a three second time penalty. Uh, Godzilla looks like he's going to come out in P14 on those uh, new set of uh, hard tyres. Alrighty. And we've got another little uh, three way dance here Durko, uh, Durko, Darko Way, Turbo Snell, and Purple Haze. Uh, battling for P's 4, 5 and 6. I'll tell you what, Hayes has made good ground considering she was knocked out in Q2. Same as Darko Way. They're doing, hey, what a, good, is the doing a good job. What is the tyre wear of the front three? Okay, tyre wear in the front three. Well, Massey's on 20s. Uh, 20 on front, 30 on the rears. Gold Neg Fryer, slightly better. Uh, rusted Bolt, um, about the same, mate. So it's pretty similar across the board. Yeah, it's, from the top it's still three. a fair amount of wear left on them tyres as well. Yeah, I can't believe the three. Mate, they could, um, go, they, they, they could go medium soft, mate. So it appears Cod has um, pitted it, very early. Yeah, Massey uh, and Golden Egg Fry's got the move on Massey. Lovely overtake there. Is Massey going to try and come back? Of course, he, uh, Egg Fry will have the DRS. So just got the uh, move done on Darko Wade as okay, well. Okay, thank you, mate. And Hayes is right there as well. Let's just quickly drop onto that battle as they come down towards turn one. Yeah, I just think Cod may have had some... Uh, he, of course, he is on the pad, don't forget. Um, yeah. You always get a bit more tie wear on the pad. But yeah, he's Cod's obviously gone for a conservative strategy. Oh, here goes uh, Darko Way around the outside of Turbo Snow. Has to lift off there. And Hayes is right there. Oh, it's contact, it's contact, it's contact. What's oh. happened? Okay, Hayes is okay. I think she's just clipped that. Uh, Cheeseman's gone through as well. I think Hayes is just clipping that. There was a contact there. So she has she got damage? That's the question. Yeah, she's got front wing. She's got end plate damage, mate. Front wing, right side. She may have to change her strat and come in and pit and put the mediums on. Oh, that's knackered her strat. Well, I say it's knackered her strategy. She's losing time, basically. Uh, Jason's still racing. Good to hear, Jace. Trooper. Absolute trooper, mate. Okay, midfield Maestro is on the back of OP rallying. Battle for P12, P13. Uh, my sure though he's on fresher tyres. Let's just have a little look at uh, this, this battle. Say again. Oh, Massy Bolt and Massy. Yep, 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 yep. Jump on board. Top three. It's as you were. Oh, Massy just rubbed against the uh, the wall of champs there. Go back on board of midfield. Maestro is going to look for a run at OP rallying with the DRS. This should be a straightforward overtake. It is. Uh, midfield Maestro moves himself uh, up to P12. It is at the moment. Okay. Down in P15 there on the soft compound tyres. So uh, midfield has got that job done. He's now hunting down Jewel Coot in the uh, in the McLaren, about uh, well just under a second up the road. Look at this scrap here. I mean Hayes did lose position to Cheeseman, but she's back on it. She she may well try and hang it out. If she's got if she can still maintain decent pace even with this M plate damage, she may well stay out and stay on strap, which will be a hard soft strap. Uh, top three still battling there. There we go. Let's jump on board. Rusted Bolt, Massey, Gold Nightfire. 
Uh, AJ says, um, AJ makes a very good point in the chat. Says the top three keep battling. Cod will have a huge undercut. He will. The question is, can he then hang on to it? That, but you're absolutely right. Uh, but Cod, though, the only problem Cod's got, he is in a little bit of traffic. He's got Jill Coot, Maestro, OP Rowney, and Codzilla. We've got a safety car. Of oh, all bets are off. Why have we got a safety car? Who has gone off? It's still moving. We've got a safety car. Right, top three are coming in. That's negated. Oh, no, Cod. no, 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 no. What? Super Ninja? Oh, I've I got to feel for Cod there. That's, that's just ruined Cod's race. Well, it ruined his race. It's ruined a great chance of Cod uh, being right up front because um, obviously the cars are being held to speed limits. And in fact, Cod's coming in anyway. He's dropping off those hards. Oh, that's a shame for Cod. You've got to feel for him. Right, Hayes is having the wing, wing change. So she is going to lose positions now in the pit. She's got to wait for cars to go past safely as well. So that's cost her a few positions. Uh, Golden Egg Fry is back out on track in the... Why did we have a safety car there, mate? I don't know. It looked to me like one of the back runners was sat still on the track. But when I went on, they was, they was moving... Okay, that's weird. Super Ninja's just picked up a, a, a drive through pounds there for speeding under the safety car. He's missed his Delta. And that's bad news for him. So he, and of course, with a, if you get a drive through penalty, you cannot serve it whilst it, under safety car conditions. You have to do one complete, well, one lap on a restart before you can serve your drive through penalty. So that's going to really cost Super Ninja. Yeah, I think it was Sniper. Um, Sniper. Because he's been done for exceeding track limits a couple of times just before the safety car come out. Okay. Safety car is on reduced, isn't it? I believe so. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, we're at uh, just about half race distance, ladies and gents. Third safety car. And again, it seems like every safety car has, has been spurious. There's been no need for it. And it's kind of trashing a good... Well, I say it's, it's a crap. It's trashing a race. It's not trashing the race, but it's... I don't know. It's, it's causing people issues within the race. Like The likes of Codzilla. Um, he was looking really, really good to, uh, as AJ said, to get a massive undercut and come out P1 after the pit stops. He's now down in it's P14. It's actually cost him, yeah. It's cost yeah, him this hugely. car. He right, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> uh, Magic says, are we going to go on uh, regular for Austria track limits? Yeah, we always go strict, mate, uh, to be fair, on track limits. Uh, every track. Hey, look who's in the chat. It's Mr. Old Man. Who ate all the pies? Hey, mate, if you've got the 5,000 channel points, mate, burn them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> burn those channel right. points. What shall I do? I've been here for a while, so... Do you know I'm going to do one just for old man? If he hasn't got the channel points, I'll, I'll, I'll do a... I'll do a... Um, I'll do a, a fucking a fat man one just, just for old man. He just heard me and you was back in the comms box, mate. I was like, yeah, fuck that, I'm coming in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jason's doing it. You fat bastard, you get all the pies. Thanks, man. Safety car's coming in. Oh, this is one for Rapid Jack. I don't know if Jack's around anyway, but we're going to do one for Rapid Jack. I love this one. Oh, why is it? It said I've got to log into Twitch. What the fuck is... <laughs> Be interested to see where Golden Egg Fire goes, because he is proper back in the pack up. Yeah. Oh, hello. It's going twice. Jason, you frat. I'll play it, Jace, not you, mate. Jesus. All right, we're going to get underway, ladies and gents. Here we go. It's the restart. Wado, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. We're off and running. Cheese has got a penalty. Oh, that's poor from Cheese. Right, has gone, but he has not dropped Massey. No, he hasn't this time. Um, so and Rusty's got a penalty. stuck with him as well. Yeah, it's all. Uh, it's, well, it's going to be very, very tight at the race start. Very, very tight at the race start. But uh, Egg Fry is maintained lead. Massey and P2. Rusty Bottom, P3. Those guys are clear. No penalties. Turbo Snail, P4B is carrying a penalty. Here comes Darko Wade, though. Very, very close to the back of Turbo Snail as they come up towards turns six and seven. 
Is there going to be any movement? Purple Haze all over the back of Arrow as well, like a, like a bad rash. Matty's going for it. Oh, okay. no, he's backed out. Oh, okay. I'm going to go for it from... Um... Yeah, there we go. Um, what else is how's the race been? Uh, the, the racing's actually been pretty good, mate. We've just had um, over-the-top safety cars, mate. Ridiculous safety cars coming out for crazy reasons, to be fair. But uh, the racing itself has been pretty good. And oh, there goes a move. It's Arrow on Shrews. Has he made that one stick? I think he might have done it. Shrews going to come back at him, though. And there is Hayes right behind them. Here we go. Shrews versus uh, WHF Arrow. Arrow's got the defensive line. Shrews going to switch back onto the inside. He is. Is he, he hasn't quite got the straight line speed, though. No DRS for two laps after a safety car restart. Oh, yeah, always, that's a poor exit. Oh, did Hayes get damaged? Did Hayes get damaged? Says, yeah, Hayes has got damaged because Shrews was, was out of shape going to the wall of champs she came. And uh, Hayes went to the back and she's picked up damage. And Foreman's going for a move. both end plates. No, 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 she hasn't, mate. She has got damage, mate. She is, yes. yeah, yeah, she's got a yellow wing. Trust me, Bill Emptree never oh, lies, okay. mate. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. She's got a yellow front wing, mate. And is you can that going to hinder her, though? Well, it, it is. You can see it, mate, because she is so slow in the corners, mate. She's losing all that aerodynamic grip. She is so slow in the corners. She's going to have to pay, um, While that was going on, we did miss uh, Maestro jumping Jolku and then OP Rally okay. and jumping Jolku as well. Yeah, no worries, mate. I think Stacey's going to have to pit. She is just going to go backwards as it stands. This seems to be a race to forget for the Aston Martin. Oh, she's like, yeah, she's clouded the wall. She's moment. just clouded the wall. She's got even more damage now, I reckon. Yeah, she's now got uh, damage to both end plates. She has got to pit. Uh, she can go set of softs, though, and push really, really hard on a set of softs. Because, again, another safety car. and stays right. Fire. She's right back in the race. Let's go for the lead. Massey's just taking the lead there. Yeah, double dose Rusty of DRS. Got a great and, exit. And here comes Rusted Bolt. In fact, there's no DRS yet. Sorry, it's enabled this lap, I think. Okay. Wow, it's all happening. Yeah, Hayes is in the pits. There'll be a new set of softs going on there. Uh, Crash the Master. Good. Uh, welcome. If you're new to the channel, please hit that follow button. As I expected, yeah, Hayes is strength the soft compound size, so she is going to be pushing hard and hoping... Uh, for a safety car, trying to revive her race a little bit. Uh, Foreman picks up a three-second time panel. We're just concentrating on this top three battle at the moment. Massey F1, Golden Egg Fryer, and Rusted Bolt duking it out. Keep an eye on Darko Wade as well. He's on the medium. We've got a safety car. This has just played back into Stacey's hand. Sniper's uh -oh. DNF'd. He's gone at turn seven, mate. Sniper's gone at turn seven. This has just brought Stacey's race back a bit. Uh, or has it? The cars are being held to Delta. Maybe it hasn't. More safety cars, same as wow. last night. Well, that's it. No more safety cars. That's it now. That's the max required. That's, I mean, it, yeah, sniper DNF, so yeah, it's fair enough. Bring out a safety car. But this should have been the first safety car, damn it. You know what I mean? Right, we're yeah, going to see. Last one, definitely. Now, what are the hard riders going to do? Are they going to come in now and shed those tyres? This is going to be fascinating to see what the strategy calls. We've got 14 laps to go. Are they going to go for um, trap position or sacrifice trap position for tyres? Like, Massey's staying out. Golden Egg Fry's staying out. Rusted Bolt is staying out. Uh, this, this is interesting. The leaders are all staying out. They're not pitting. They're going for track position. Now, cars but cars behind them should come in and put softs on. Yeah, got a couple cars coming in. I think Godzilla's coming in for a new set of softs. Oh, yeah. got nothing to lose. Oh, he's got a drive-through. Oh, he has. No. Oh, nightmare. What a, what a bad night it's been for the Aston Martin team. Dreadful night for them. It looks so promising as well. Uh, it's certainly in Q1. And they're going to be like last, pretty much the last two drivers on track. Oh, nightmare. Got in. Do you know what, mate? I'm really surprised, because it's a safety car, that some of the guys from, say, P8 downwards haven't pitted to put new softs on. It's silly not to, guy. They've got yeah. nothing to lose. Absolutely. D just do what the top six don't do. Do you know what I mean? I'm really surprised. I'm really, really surprised to see that. Wow. Bonta, how you doing, man? Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you, my friend. Skiffy! It says uh, Cod got that whilst in the pits. You, uh, so, you don't forget, of course, sometimes there is a, like a very slight delay before you actually see the penalty come up on the screen, if you know what I mean. So he's probably just uh, done it by just getting a bit too quick in the pit lane, I reckon. Oh. That's what I would think. That's what I would think anyway. Get the CSG. Hope you're doing well there, mate. Uh, can someone put a, a Discord link in, 
Actually, do you know what I'll do? Yeah, sorry, the link's out of date. I oh, know, my bad. Let me just get a link sorted out for you. Uh, invite people, copy that. It, it's supposed to be a perm link, but it's gone down. Uh, Crash the Master. Here's a, a fresh link for you, dude. Uh, just to let you know, mate, all the qualifying screenshots are uploaded. Spank your hairy crutch, mate. Thank you. I'm just really surprised, mate, that um, some of the midfield didn't come in to put softs on. That's just kind of throw me a little bit. Now, Cod's put on a scrub set of hards. Interesting. Stacy has gone for me. They didn't go for softs. That, um, some strange strategy calls going in. Because the, the softs, you get 12 laps out of the softs. Easy here, particularly in the second half of the race. You know, the, you know, the, back, the back third of the race. I'm surprised at some of the strategy calls here, mate. I can't lie. What do you think, Ganders? Yeah, hundred percent, mate. Because Stacy was on the softs, um, and, and uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Right, safety cars coming in anyway. Uh, so we, are, I mean, to be f all right, the saving grace of both Cod and Hazel, they're both on the freshest tires. But you, you'd want a new set of softs now, wouldn't you? Surely, you know, where you can just rag, oh, well, I would you can, yeah, you can just rag the crap out of them and really push. And probably gain a lot of positions. Okay, but here we go. Then we're about to get underway, ladies and gents. We no more safety cars. We've we've reached we've uh, reached the uh, the limit. Oh uh, yeah, what I possibly yeah could have been. A, she may only have had scrub sets left. But even so, a scrub set would still be good. Surely, I don't know. I don't know. But we're about to get underway. Massey is the leader. Gold egg fries right there. Rusted bolt and Massey has bolted early doors. He has gone for it, and that's a very, very good uh, restart there for the Alpha Tauri driver. Looking good for uh, Alpha Tauri tonight with P1, P4, OP rally and three second time penalty. But we're back racing, ladies and gents. Now, uh, top three are all clean. Turbo now has got a penalty, so he's got to push hard to try and open up a gap to Darko Wade and the cars behind with 11 laps to go, plus this lap that they're on right now. Yeah, Bonte, you'd be in the wall at any track, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Austria next week, mate. Oh. There's a couple of good walls you can put it in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, mate. The best one's off uh, turn 10, isn't it? The final corner. You go in that kind oh, of curve, mate. You drop the back end straight into the pit wall, mate. Lovely jubbly. You can make a right. Do you remember that, uh, uh, the classic eSports race, TIR Big Twos from um, a, a couple of three years ago? Um, two of the legends of uh, esports racing for FRA, uh, Ron Hart and Elite, and they both tried to slingshot their cars. They're P1, P2, final lap, final corner. Ron Hart goes to slingshot his car through, dropped it, and crashed. DNF, mate. Oh, no Literally way. yards from the finish line. Right, Rusted Bolt is getting very, very close to the back of Golden Egg Fry. Golden Massey is dropping these guys. Fastest lap of the race so far, 112.925. And he is dropping these guys. He is going for the gold, mate. He is going for victory. Uh, Gold 05, P2, Rusted Bolt 3, Turbo Snow 4, Dark Wave 5, Cheesy 6, Arrow in 7, The Shroominator in P8, Former 9, Midfield Maestro in P10. Although Maestro uh, will be looking to get some overtaking done, plus the cars in front have got penalties. So I, I, I'd say a podium is not beyond Maestro at the moment, uh, the championship leader. So no, gone... Going back to Austria, I still remember when we'd done the trial race and I actually care and crashed my car into an invisible... Did you? Yeah, literally, my car took air and uh, went sideways into a wall and just ripped wow. me off. I think I still got a clip somewhere. I'll try and find it. The classic was the old Abbey Dabby, turn 17, sector 3, underneath the bridge. That was always a classic, that little wall <laughs> sticking out. A oh, my <laughs> Gaming. Yeah, he's all over the back of uh, Golden Egg Fryer. Ma I mean, Golden Egg Fryer's pace, his race pace is okay. He's, he's, he's now matching Massey for race pace. But uh, DRS is enabled, so we're going to get see some overtaking uh, very, very shortly, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Foreman uh, is battling. Midfield Maestro is going to have, may have a look at the inside here, possibly. No, decides to just lift off there. Maestro can sense, he, as I would say, he still has a chance of a podium here. Uh, championship leader, currently leading by 26 points going into this race. The game is coming. To, hey, there you go, Zimmer, old man. Don't buy it when you can get it on Game Pass very, very shortly. 
Oh, I'm gonna get the cops cam out. Fuck it. Don't do it again to me. <laughs> Yay! Copter cam is alive! I'm looking down on the track, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it's all about. Great camera angle there from Cody's. I'm looking good in my copter cam. It's uh, 350 feet cruising around. Oh, I've just crashed it. <laughs> right, let's go back on the leaders now. Rusted Bolt is going to have a run here, I think, at Gold Neg Fry. He's got the DRS. Gold Neg Fry does not have DRS. Here he comes. Look at the overspeed for the Alpine. He's like, bye bye now. See you later. Up to P2 he, he goes. Waiting. Yeah. L Rusted. No. At least 10 laps to get that overtake done. Absolutely, he's been very, very patient. Maestro's got the move done on Foreman. Uh, Jewel Kid got OP ran. Look at this scrap here. They've got four or five cars. Oh my, Hayes is trying to get back into this as well. It's all happening. It's all happening here. OP rallying going for a move on Jewel Kid. No, Jewel Kid maintains that position. That's caught on a moment again. Or is, was that just the pit stops thrown? Did he not, did he not catch the pack up in time? He's no, now I don't nine. think he caught up in time, mate. All right, and so he's nine seconds off the uh, off the back of Super Ninja. Rawas picked up a penalty. Oh, but he got a bit out of shape there. Hayes is, Hayes is all over the back of him like a bad rash here as they're coming towards turn seven. Let's jump on board for Hayes' POV. Let's keep an eye on this scrap. Hayes is just there like, yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. But Rawa does have DRS to defend, though. He's within that one second of OP rallying. Hayes is desperate to make up some positions. Good exit, though, there from Rawa. Coming out of turn nine. Yeah, Hayes had a slight oversteer. Right, I'm going back on the board of the leaders because Rusted Bolt is about to take the lead, I think, off Massey. Here he goes with a bit of DRS. And Rusted Bolt takes the lead, ladies and gentlemen, moves himself up to P1. Golden Egg Fry has dropped out of DRS range. And Darko Raiden's Skull Sniper going through. Hang on, two secs. Going side by side through there. Oh, it's contact the crash. A big crash. Big crash. Cheeseman and Turbo Snail. Virtual safety car, ladies and gentlemen. Cheeseman lost it coming out the wall of champs. Oh, my days. There you are. Rusted Bolt is very lucky then because Massey got an absolutely outstanding exit out of uh, wall of champions Ooh. and was coming straight back at him down the straight. Well, I was more... Yeah, I mean... I, I, I could see it in the distance, but I had to st stay on that Turbo Snail, Darko, because it was a three-way yeah, dance yeah, yeah. with Darko Wade, Turbo Snail, and then Cheeseman. Cheeseman, I think he bounced off the Wall of Champs, mate, the Wall of Champs, and slipped, went, skewed across the track straight into Turbo Snail. I want to check the cars for damage whilst we've uh, got them on. Turbo Snail. Ninja, Cod, both have pitted and put fresh softs on. Yeah, that, that's the call now. Get on, get on those soft compound tyres. Anyone outside the top five, mate, get on those soft tyres. Maestro's picked up a penalty, by the way. That's his first time penalty. We'll have a quick look at the pen situation. There we go. What are the going to do? Well, what do the leaders do? Yeah, do they stick or twist? Do you know, if I was Massey, I would do whatever Rusty Bolt doesn't do. I would change strat on the fly. You lose strat position, but you gain so much in... Um Rusted making the late call. What's Rusted doing? Yeah, Massey He's comes in. Massey's yeah, come in. Yeah, Massey comes in. Gold Neg Fry is coming in as well. Darko Wade's coming in. They're all following. Yeah. That's the right call. Oh, Shrews! No, no, no. He's got a drive through penalty. Oh, that's just knackered his race completely. Wow. Wow, wow. Everyone wow. apart from Rusted is, is oh. pitting. Jagoon is going to be having nightmares. I remember Jagoon did this. Do you remember, Mark, earlier on this season, mate? Was it this season, I think it was? Start of the season or end of last season or something? Jagoon stayed hey, all, out. All I'm seeing here is um, Abu Dhabi, Hamilton Verstappen, but Rusted yeah. Bolt has got 15 Max Verstappens coming at him. He has. His one saving grace is that he has not got a time penalty. But he's almost certainly not going to finish P1. I mean, what if he pitted now? How much time would he lose? Oh, they've caught up the safety car. Uh, That's the problem. Damn it. Yeah. Yes. They're coming up behind him now, mate. Yeah. Yeah, he'd lose too much time if he pitted now. Or would he? I mean, he'll Do you know what? He would still come out. He would still come out. P8, um, P9. Yeah, I think he'll come out um, just behind Arrow, mate. Possibly, if he pitted now. Maybe it's worth him coming in anyway. Sacrificing track because he, he, he knows he's got the pace to get some positions back. And there's enough laps for about five laps. So will no, Rusty... No, 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 they, 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 oh, they've, they've all caught up now, to be fair. Oh, does, what, what does he do? Stick or twist? What does Rusty Bolt do? Is he going to come in? 
No, he's staying Stick. out. Okay. Yeah, he's yeah. sticking. Now P13. Dividends and cost him massively. Yeah, Stacey's now back in, back in with a, a real shout here because look at all those cars ahead of her who are carrying time penalties. Seven, eight cars ahead of her are all carrying at least three seconds. But Stacey's clean, so she could be on for P5 here. We've got, we've got a five lapper coming, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I remember it well, uh, Mark. A bit of a nightmare for you, mate, wasn't it? He did. I know you still got a podium. Hayes is on the money, says Cobbs. I thought you were going to say money shot there for a minute. It's like... <laughs> she certainly, as long as she doesn't pick up a penalty, she is going to gain a lot of positions, though. Uh, P5 is still looking hard as well. Likely. If and Cod, and Cod with it. yeah, and Cod as well. So what what looked looked like it was going to be a disaster for Aston Martin actually might not end up being a bad night for the team with the penalty situation. It's going to be fascinating to see how it all pans out in the final uh, four or five laps. Safety car should be coming in end of this lap. There, the pack is all there. We go confirmation. Uh, the pack is all bunched up now. Oh, you got to, what does Rusty Bolt do? Uh, he's just got to go for it, hasn't he? Just push, push, push. I think he's still got P four. Wait, well, he's got P four in the bag. As long as he doesn't pick up a penalty. But he'll be, he'll be, for a miracle. Yeah, he'll be sat there in his car right now, feeling sick. To be the leader of the race at the wrong time. Yes, I did say money shot, old man. <laughs> All right, let's flick onto the broadcast cam though for the restart. Uh, Bolt's gone early, but Massey, Massey's gone with him. Massey He's has, stuck with him, mate. Yeah, Massey has gone with him. Okay, here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. So Massey, look at the traction. Massey got out of the corner. He's, he's shaping up for a move at the inside, going into turn one. No, decides to back off. Not quite close enough. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Extrema Leagues, welcome in. But Massey is all over the side. He's going for the move out the inside. I don't think Rusty can do hey, a lot about this. So, so, excuse me. Don't cut across me when I'm, when I'm doing the leaders, mate. Massey has got the lead off Rusty Bolt. Golden Egg Fire is going out to the inside at turn seven as well. Is there contact between two cars? No. Rusty Bolt just holds him off, but he is really, really struggling for traction out of those slow corners. And it's just a matter of time now before Golden Egg Fire is going to get the job done. Coming up towards uh, turns uh, eight and nine. Yeah, just don't, don't shoot your bolt, mate, when I'm doing the, yeah. doing the leaders, mate. Oh, yeah, I'm just watching. I'm just trying to see oh, no. where Hayes gets, oh, mate. No. She's up to P12, going for P11 now. Yeah. But the problem is that I don't think she's going to finish any higher than P5, mate, because she's just the, the amount of cars she's got to filter through and then catch Darko Wade, do you know what I mean? Unless, of course, a driver in the top four picks up a penalty. I think P5 is going to be her limit. But Massey has gone, mate. And uh, Dark, These cars are having to lift off going for the wall of champs. No safety car, call, uh, no safety car, no uh, DRS for two complete laps after a safety car restart. But Massey, barring a disaster, has got this in the bag because now Rusted Bolt is 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 a is a mobile chicane. He's a roadblock now. Yep, she set a fast lap of the race, 112, 187. Uh, midfield Maestro all over the back of the Shroominator as well. See, Maestro will feel he's got the pace still. But he is carrying that penalty, and he has got a, a slower Hass, uh, sorry, a slower Alfa Romeo in front of him that he needs to clear as quickly as he possibly can. Yellows. Yellows. Okay, that might have been. I'm not sure that was achievement, possibly. Uh, Rarotron's all over the back of OP Rally in there, coming up towards P8, P9 as well. Gold Negfry is now surely going to get the job done here. He's going to go out the inside. He's got the inside line. He should have this done now. He should be able to cover off. Uh, Rusted Bolt and Darko Wade's going to have a run here as well. Oh, 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 Jesus. A bit of, bit of uh, contact there between the two cars. Darko Wade, though, hasn't quite got the straight line speed. No DRS, of course. So that's going to be frustrating for him. But Golden Egg Fry has got the move done. He's up to P2. The question is now he's got three laps to chase down Massey. Massey, 2.3 seconds up the road. Hello, midfield Maestro's got done. Shrews has served his drive through. I remember now. He had a drive through penalty. So Maestro's got back up to P5 now. Look at Foreman and Arrow amazing. going at it as well. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's really unfortunate for uh, for Nige. Really cost him badly. He was looking for a good points finish tonight, and that's all gone to rat shit now. Hayes has got turbo P8. Yeah, yeah she has. Again, though, it's it's. I think it's kind of academic, mate, in terms of a finishing position. Oh, Mr. Maestro got all out of shape there. Oh, sorry, Hayes, sorry, got all out of shape. 
Turbo Snail is going to come back at her. I can't see uh, a finish higher than P5. Oh, hello. Rusted Bolt and Darko Wade. Darko Wade's gone through. So Rusted Bolt drops down to P4 and he's got midfield Maestro coming right at him now. Oh, you've got to feel for Rusted. Here goes mid midfield Maestro with the superior traction and Rusted Bolt is going backwards. He's just got to try and stay though with midfield for the last couple of laps to get him on penalty count back. He is down to P5. He's now got Arrow. Um, he's got Foreman and Hayes all moving up. In fact, do you know what? Hayes could catch for mid Rusted Bolt here. She could actually be on for P4. Quite possibly. Yeah, but Bolt has just put that in the chat as well. Now, Golden Egg Fry, mate, is catching Massey with two laps to go. The guy. Oh, no! Oh, commentator's curse! No. Commentator's curse, he's picked up a three second time penalty. That puts Hayes possibly within reach of a podium now. All of a sudden, it could be a podium, a P3 for, uh, for, purple, for purple Hayes. Wow. It is Diva all. The Diva Queen happened. is pushing. The Diva Queen is pushing very hard. Oh, you're right, Van Geffen. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome to the channel. It says, love the commentary. Thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate your kind words, sir. Thank you so much. Midfield Maestro is all over the back of Darko Wade coming out of turn nine on the on the run up towards the hairpin at turn ten. We're on the penultimate lap here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, midfield Maestro will have DRS here. Um, Rusted Bolt has got uh, in fact Arrow's got up the inside, but he's gone a bit too deep. Rusted Bolt gets better traction, but they're side by side. It's all happening here. Oh, Arrow man. has uh, Arrow has got the move done. I think he, he has DRS. Here comes Midfield Maestro and Darko Wade. Midfield Maestro moves himself back up to P3, but of course he is carrying that time penalty. Look at Foreman. Foreman's got the move done on Rusted Bolt, has he? Yeah, Rusted Bolt's going backwards. And look at Hayes. She is within touching distance now, Rusted Bolt. This could be P3 here for Hayes, possibly. We're on the last lap, ladies and gentlemen, of what has been a fascinating race. And there goes Hayes through the inside. What a great move from Hayes. What a superb move. move. Yeah, she went up the inside there, Rusted Bolt. Uh, you've got a feel for Rusted Belt. Caught out with that last safety car on the wrong set of tyres. It's really, really cost him. Gold Neg Fire, though, up front. 1.5 seconds now to Massey. Oh, is Massey starting to feel the cosh a little bit? Is he starting to feel the... 1.2 seconds. Can Eggfire get within DRS range of Massey? Oh, it's going to be about 400 yards until the DRS detection line. It's coming up very, very shortly. Massey's okay, I think. Massey's okay. The gap down to 1.2. Oh, of course, Egg Fries is carrying out time penalty. I keep on forgetting. Darko Wade is looking good for P2 here, mate. On penalty looking count very back. Good for it. Hey, and who gets P3? Looking very good. Well, it's going to be close, mate. I'm going to go uh, gap to leader for the. Um, I don't think she's going to get a podium, mate. Not quite. But here comes Massey. He's going to take the checkered flag and a superb victory. He's deserved it. He has driven beautifully. Now, who finishes P2? That's the question. Here we go. It's Golden Egg 5. Does get P2. Darko Wade P3. Where's Hayes going to come in? She gets P5 in the end for Hayes. A midfield maestro P4 championship leader. Good recovery drive because, he, of course, he had to pit early doors. Oh, what a what an absolutely banging race. Uh, Shrews jumps up position or two. Cod jumps up to P12 and penalty count back. Cheeseman, he had great pace in Q, uh, but he's had the race to forget, I'm afraid. He's going to come home plumb at last in P16. But that was an absolutely superb race. We'll give you confirmation of the results shortly. I'm just going to take uh, Beer Lemetry off the screen momentarily. Is she going to do some donuts, or is he just out of fuel? Wow, what a race, guys. Cheeseman crosses the line. Just take Beer Lemetry off the screen. Well done. Brilliant race. Brilliant race. It really came to life. Safety they, they cars. should all be proud of that. Yeah, safety cars kind of threatened to ruin the race. Hayes gets drive of the day. Um, yeah, I agree I'm gonna with, go that. with that. I'm going to go with that. Yeah. Considering she was plumb last, I'd like, go with the last safety car, mate. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, well, what a race, though. What a race. We'll give you a... Uh, uh, unfortunately, we can't do interviews because um, me and Gandhi are actually in uh, the streamer Discord comms which is restricted to streamers only. So um, we can't actually do that. Thanks for the raid arrow, by the way, and GG's tonight, brother. Good drive there. Okay, let's give you confirmation then. This, this is just uh, spraying the Verve Clico 500 quid a bottle champers all over the place. 
and we're going to get a kill confirmation. So there we go. Massey then takes the victory here at uh, the Circuit de Gilles Villeneuve. Uh, Golden Egg Fryer, P2, does it again. That guy is just a great drive. Darko Wade, P3, good drive. The midfield Maestro, a really good recovery drive there, P4. Uh, Hayes gets P5 and the bonus point for the fastest lap here for her in the Aston Martin. Rusted Bolt, uh, he was just caught out of the strack hall, ended up with P6. He'll be gutted about that. He will feel that he, should, he could have had the race win there. He really could have done. Uh, Arrow gets some good points there for Williams in P7. Super Ninja in 8, Turbo Snail 9, Foreman 10, Jewel uh, in P11, Godzilla in 12, Rarotron P13, Shrews that unfortunate drive through uh, comes home in P14, but does score points. Oh, OP rallying in P15, Cheesy comes home in P16, and then the two DNFs, Sniper and Trash Magic. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was your Canadian Grand Prix, and let's head back to the command centre. Great race. Whoa, pick the bones out of that, ladies and gentlemen. Pick the bones out of that. That was an absolute banging race. It really, really was. Jesus Christ, see you. You are a fucking <laughs> only shambles. That's what you are. You're like that coffee machine, you know, from bean to cup, you fuck up. Thanks, Turbo Staff. Um, yeah, uh, just looking at the chat there. Arrow says, I successfully didn't kill anyone using a no ABS for the first time. Yeah, GG's, man. That's a good drive. That was a good drive. Uh, don't forget, of course, the drivers, though. Um, if you get any clips, don't forget to raise an instant ticket, and the stewards will then uh, process those tickets for you. And uh, we should be about two days away, and we'll get uh, the stewards' result posted up for uh, Tier 2. But a great, uh, a great race, uh, ladies and gents. Uh, of course, the racing week, though, is getting underway. We've got the, the two elite tiers tomorrow night, Elite Tier A, Elite Tier B in action. Uh, two streamers tomorrow night, two races, simultaneous races, simultaneous broadcasts, myself uh, in one stream, and then the uh, the, the motor mouth, the, uh, the 5,000 decibel Ferrari fanatical lunatic Sato will be covering the other elite tier as well. I think Sato may have Kenzie. Jamie, if you're still in the chat, mate, are you around for doing comms with, uh, with me tomorrow night, dude? If you fancy it, Mr. Rose. Get the Devon connection. I'm able to because I'm racing. Because you're racing tomorrow night, yeah. Are we going to have the Devon connection well. doing comms tomorrow night? Whew. But that was a brilliant race, uh, Andrew. Really enjoyed that, mate. Really yeah, enjoyed mate, great honestly. battling. It's a great, superb battling. I've, really I've seen awesome. two good races so far. Mm -hmm. um, um, it'd be interesting to see what the uh, elite drivers can, uh, can pull out tomorrow night as well. Looking forward to that. Should be two banging races. Good, I'd, I'd like Canada. It's a good circuit, mate. It just it makes for good racing. It's a narrow circuit. It is, a, as I say, technically it is a street circuit and it's narrow, but it feels like a proper racing circuit. You know, it doesn't feel like a street circuit to me. I've always loved Canada, whether it's streaming, whether it's racing it myself. I've always really, really enjoyed it. You know. But that's it, ladies and gents. Going to call it a night. Going to make myself a cup of tea, have something to eat. Cause I just realised I've had no dinner yet. I don't know what I have actually. I might get, I might get a takeaway again. I don't know. GG's Massey. Well done, Chris. Great win tonight, mate. That's going to really push up the the, uh, the leaderboard there in the, in the standings. So I say, I'm sorry we can't do interviews because myself and Gandhi are in the streamer Discord uh, voice channel. I'm going to try and get that sorted, actually, Gandhi. What we can do is we can invite people in, um, try and give people, like, uh, temporary permissions so we can get them in to the uh, yeah, streamer yeah. Discord. We can always remove the, the permissions afterwards. Uh, but it'd be nice to talk to the guys. It's just that the reason why we're not unless doing... you're able to create like a race comms one, I might just do that actually. A race, com... yeah. Then he put pro... uh, no, you can't do it, mate, because anyone can jump in. Then you see, anyone could jump mm -hmm. in and you know, like an interloper or something, you know, from the server, which I don't really want to do. I'd rather keep it just for the streamers and just give people yeah. temporary permissions. It doesn't take me a second to quickly go on Discord after a race, mate, and sort it out for them. Um, yeah, no worries. But yeah, uh, great win, Chris. Thoroughly deserved, mate. It's a top, 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 top race. Top, top race indeed. As I say, and we're back. Fair play to Hayes as well. She yeah. Done, she done really well. Yeah, the guy's got to feel sorry for those rusted bolt. Just caught out with that final safety car being on the wrong tyre at the wrong time. He was uh, looking good for the race win himself. Ended up at P, um, excuse me, P6, I believe. But um, yeah, I there we go. Post the final result. I say, don't forget, guys, uh, we've got two races tomorrow night with the. Um, Elite tiers, a lot of esports action coming up on different channels. TIR esports are in action, of course, in various competitions, uh, ETC, uh, AERS tournaments, and of course we'll have the uh, oh, TIR. Hang on two seconds, we'll have the TIR World Series Big Twos 
uh, on Saturday night. TIR will be in action there as well. We had a great start to the campaign this last Saturday at Bar Arena. We'll be looking to uh, kick forward and get some podiums for the team uh, this coming Saturday. All right. That's it, guys. I'm going to call it there. But it's been an absolute pleasure uh, to stream for you guys tonight. I really hope you've enjoyed the content here on Beer Kebab TV. Uh, thank you to the, uh, the new followers. Welcome to everyone new into the channel as well. It's great to have your company here in the, uh, in the community. And I think a couple of guys have already signed up to race in the league, which is fantastic new followers. It's always brilliant to see. So thank you. All right, Ganders, thanks for doing the co-coms, mate. I've had a blast as always, mate. It's a pleasure. Always a pleasure, never a chore. Yep, absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Okay, that's it for me, guys. Um, I'm not sure when I'll be back, actually. Um, the next scheduled stream for me will be next Monday. Uh, sorry, will be tomorrow, and then... Yeah, tomorrow, and then next Monday. I might do some stuff, though, towards the back end of the week, some POV stuff. It'll either be a bit of F1... Or if I can convince my uh, my PUBG homies, I might do some PUBG streams over the weekend. Because uh, we do have a lot of good laughs and shits and giggles when we play PUBG. So I might do a PUBG stream or two um, over the weekend. But that's it. I'm going to say peace, sayonara. I'll see you tomorrow night, guys. Until then, take care. Godspeed. <laughs>